up, my boy? Yep, yep, yep. You're good, though, yeah? Yeah, bruv. I'm always sweet. Yeah, Yo, fam. Um, what? Hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> hopefully the cameras don't mess up today, man. Listen, yeah. <laughs> I'm if, not gonna lie, they, bro. If they do, that's gonna be crazy. Oh bro. my god! Listen, <laughs> last week's one was so mad, bro. Yeah. We sat here for I think two hours or something, uh, bro. Over two hours. Bro. Just, just chatting. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> just well, chatting, bro. Yeah, just they talk. Yeah, so just for, they talk, bro. For, talk, for talking sick. I'm like telling that. you, fam. <laughs> talking for free, fam. <laughs> you get me? Uh, that was funny, yeah, bro. Nah, it was, like it, it, it was just one of them ones, bro. At, at some point, you just give up, innit? Yeah, yeah, nah, nah. It was annoying, but at, at, I mean, at the end of the year, I'm like, you know what? It's it is what it is. Funny. It's just one of them ones, bro. <laughs> You guys say, Listen. nah, it was a good episode and everything, you know, especially all the BS that was happening last weekend, you know, which we're going to touch on again, yeah. you know, but yeah, man, for people that slid into my DMs and everything, salute to you lot though, for real, you know, yeah, that yeah, was the yeah. reason why um, <laughs> we didn't have no episode last weekend. Mm -hmm. We would have easily maybe dropped the audio, but we were like, nah, we are kind of shot changing, um, you know, yeah. the people on YouTube, yeah. you know, we we're like, you know what? If there's no video, we just leave it. But I, re I reckon the audio would have banged. Though. No, the audio would have banged, yeah. <laughs> but the thing is, you know, there are some some sort of mannerisms and, you know, yeah, yeah, facial yeah. expressions that, you know, you can't, obviously you're not going to see them in the yeah. audio episodes and that, you know what true, I'm saying? True, true. So I kind of think it's quite important to kind of have the both of them and everything, you know. Mm, but mm, mm. You're like, yeah, man, that was basically what happened, bro. You get me? How you doing though? You good though, yeah? No, but, but I am okay. But staring at these two bad boys, yeah, they better not. I know, not, I know. They better, they better not fuck <laughs> Because it's only the both of us in the studio today, fam. <laughs> you know what I mean? So we are looking at the camera just making sure, bro. Like, yo, I hope this shit is working and that, fam. Yeah, yeah. You know, PTSD and that, bro. Yeah, now, nah, but it's, it's rolling now, but we're good. Yeah, we should be good, man. We we're, should be good, We're though. good to go. Yeah, 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 yeah. How's your week been, though? But it's been one of them, one of them weeks, you know? Mm, busy? It's cold at one. Yeah, it was quite busy. Yeah, but I'm on about the wet weather first. Mm, but it was mm, mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cold at some point, hot, and then wet. And then, well, yeah, like, yeah. What's, what's going yeah, on? yeah, yeah, bro. At, at some point, I actually stepped out of the house with a t-shirt on. Bro. Yeah, oh, yeah. I think it was it was your Tuesday. So Tuesday was super hot, warm. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I stepped out of the house with a t-shirt on, bro. You gotta be. We just want them ones, fam. You know, but hey, I'm not gonna lie. I've had a good week though. Mm. I've had a good week and everything. Just keeping up with everything that's happening around the world, bro. Geopolitics, everything. You know, just looking at Israel, Iran, and all that. I'm thinking, bro, I think, um, you know, are we going to be joining the army, fam? No. I, I'll, I'll go leave army for you. You like gone. <laughs> you, know? you, you like gone, so, Baba. <laughs> you like gone, but Yeah, yeah, but don't you think, yeah, don't you think that we need a little bit of conflict, right? Because I kind of think that we are getting too soft Who's as, as a society. Oh, okay. Anxiety break because you hear everything is mental health, everything is anxiety, mm -hmm. PTSD, mm -hmm. depression. You get know what I'm saying? And I was having that conversation with um shout out to Rutenda and I was having the conversation with Rutenda and all that, right? I said, listen, imagine if the people that live in Gaza yeah, hear us talk and some of the shit that we are claiming that's bothering us, yeah, bro. Yeah, true. It would be laughable, bro. No, I, I hear you on that. Yeah, yeah. Imagine that. Oh my God, I fell from the staircase when I was five years old. You know, now now I can't even do the hoovering and everything, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. because I got PTSD. I'm thinking, what? I mean, you get what I'm saying? And, and, and I do understand everybody's experience is everybody's experience. But sometimes I do feel like sometimes we are, we are, we are pulling that shit, bro. We two, are two stretching, spot, man. Too two spot. Well, I mean, is that, like you said, you, you eat the, the plate you're served. So if you serve me a nice plate, bro, best, best believe I'm nice. So that means that that, that means that we we've been served a nice plate for yeah, how many years now? Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah, yeah that's true though. That's true. <laughs> so that's true. That's true. When you serve me spoiled plate, then I don't know. Am I throw away the plate or I don't know? Me and the join any army at all? Yeah, no, I'm not joining no army. Why I'm is not, that? Because I I don't. I, yeah, back in the younger days, yeah, you would think yeah, war, war, war. But at this time, with what I know, but war is not the way. Mm. There's no point to, before we get to that place where it's conflict. There should be something else. Yeah, so Com I'm, conversations and yeah, that. Yeah, I'm in for the mediation and conversation to see where you know, because most of the time uh, my side might be the wrong side, right? So am I going to war with the wrong? Nah, I don't want to be on the wrong side. Mm. Don't get me wrong, we might win the wrong side, but but still, yeah, the wrong side is the wrong side. You know what? I'm with you, yeah. 
in a way, I kind of wish that we are back in, in you know, the, the old days where the king, you know, he is there yeah. at the forefront. Exactly. Don't send me to war <laughs> and, and you're in some yeah, underground yeah. bunker, fam. Yeah, chilling. Chilling, bruh. So don't talking about strategizing and trying to... No, 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 no. no, no. Selling weapons and everything, <laughs> making money, bro. Nah, fam. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let, let's all go to the battlefield, bro. Yeah, nah, let's all go, man. You lead, lead, lead the war. Yeah. You know what I mean? If you're going to be there with us... Yeah. If Keir Stein is going to be there with us... <laughs> yeah, I'm going. But imagine that, bro. Imagine, all, <laughs> imagine, imagine all, all, all the wars there. Obama is there slinging at me. You know what I'm saying? God told that, bro. God told you that, bro. You know what I'm saying? You should have tell them people say, Sammy shoot, you should go, sir. No, they go. I mean, for four. Yeah, nah, right. I, I'm, I'm, bro, I, I don't I, think you're someone knows anything about fighting, bro. Nah, but you never know, you know. This guy's about, you know, yes, they've, they've got loads lie, of time, lie. loads of time on their hand. It might be some black belter in some jiu-jitsu or whatever. Lie. I don't believe that, bro. <laughs> Fam, imagine Rishi re, 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 Sunak, bro. Nah, we re, wish re, 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 in a bank at Liverpool. You know what I'm saying? And these are the people that would have wanted to go and die. Yeah, exactly. You know what I'm saying? Nah. If we're all going to die, let's all go and die, bro. Yeah. Come on, lead the war and then... You, you know, understand? If you're not ready to be in front there, then why why go to war? I like that. It's people's kids that are getting killed. So, yeah, yeah, I like that, you know? But yeah, man, listen. Just one of them ones, this is the times that we live in anyways, bro. So so we're just gonna keep an eye on everything that's happening. So what you, you reckon you reckon World War Three or I think we're already in World War Three, bro. Or World War Two point five. More like 2.5. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, you know what I mean? We are getting closer to three, bro. You know, nah, because if you see what's happening with Russia, Ukraine, you see what's happening, you know, now Iran, Israel, you know, which obviously if they get into a full blown, which I think they have, because obviously just last night, I saw on the news that Israel obviously went to bomb Iran and there, mm -hmm. which Iran is going to come back. You know what I'm saying? Which obviously if that happens and it escalates, Israel obviously has the West. Yeah. You know, then Iran has the East. The East. The government and the South. You yeah. Know? So we'll, we'll, see how, we'll see how that pan out, bro. We'll yeah. see what happens, though. Hope, hopefully, you know bro. But, but we are here to have fun. No, no, though, no. Bro. We are here. To, I mean, we're here to have fun, but obviously, we the have The world to, is the world, though, isn't it? The world is the world. The bro. world is the world, bro. <laughs> you know what I'm Listen, 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 yes, listen, yes. listen. Salute to every single one of you out there. You could be anywhere in the world, but you are right here with us. Mm -hmm. Is your favorite show on earth, Fresh of the Boat podcast, and your favorite host, Toby and Kels. Salute to Kojo. Kojo is still touring the States and everything, mm. bruv. You know <laughs> what I'm saying? I'm seeing my guys eating steaks yeah, yeah, yeah. and... Huge go, shout go, go to that. You guys yeah. doing everything that he's doing, bro. Fam, enjoy yourself, bro. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm yeah. saying? We are here for you, though. But we salute every single one of you out there, man. Listen, if you've not subscribed to the channel yet, we don't know what you're waiting for, man. Subscribe to the channel. Watch the videos. Leave a like. Leave a comment. Share it. Tell a friend to tell a friend. Or tell an enemy to tell a friend. Because bro. they go friends, too. You know what I'm saying? And also, if you're on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, every other platforms that you are on and everything, we are also right there, Fresh of the Boat Podcast. You know what I mean? Follow us on IG, you know, Fresh of the Boat Pod, you know, and also, you know, just keep in touch, man. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, keep in yeah. touch with us and everything. We salute everyone that's likes it into our DMs, you know, to kind of obviously chat with us and everything, bruv. You know mm. what I'm saying? Bro, mm. should we start this shit, bro? Yeah, come on, kick us off. You ready, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Let's do this. Hell and back, hell and back, Man, hell and back, 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 fire boy. That's my tune right there, bro. Pro proper tune, bro. That's my tune right there, bro. But I'm not going to lie. Yeah. I'm not going to lie. When he first dropped that album, I did the Mola, is it? I did the Mola. I did the Mola, yeah. I did the Mola, right? Yeah. That track kind of went over my head a little bit, bro. What, the hell and back? Yeah. Yeah, it got. I swear to God, it did. So, what one caught your attention? Like, what one with you? The one with Labaja caught my attention. Yeah, heavy. Yeah, the one with Labaja caught my attention. And everything. You know, obviously it's Labaja. You know what I'm saying? The nostalgia and everything. You know what I'm saying? But um, apart from that, yeah, the Helen back just kind of went over my head until I saw his performance on Colors. No way, it was Colors. I that swear to God, it was Colors, bro. 
Well, okay, no. Yeah, yeah. Because they say this thing, like, with your performances, but I mean, like, yeah, this is true story business. Yeah, right? bro. Yeah, bro. No you know, way. No, no, see, you're right. That's the reason why, yeah, artists, whenever you're performing, you have to pers- you have to put your best foot forward. Yeah. No matter the platform and that, bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It was colors, bruv. I was like, what? Well, I had to go this, back and listen yeah. to the tune again. I was like, what the hell? Yeah. But it does happen though, because sometimes, you know, because it's an album, you're kind of going through the albums and everything, or rather the tracks and all that. Mm-mm. You might kind of miss some tracks. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you sk- not skip, but it doesn't, you don't, yeah. you know, resonate with exactly, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly, exactly. It was yeah. colors, bro. It was colors. My man killed that shit. No, but the colors performance though, yeah, that was, that oh. was, that was shit. Yeah, but, yeah, but he done, he done his business there. I'm not gonna lie. I, I wasn't even looking at him. I was actually listening, listening to the, the song. song. Okay. Yeah, bro. It's like, what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> you go, know I mean, and yeah. then I went on Instagram and everything. I, I saw him in the whip, and I, you mm. go, know I mean, yeah, playing the song and all that. I was like, oh shit, yeah, you know? nah, nah. He's he's been like promoting the song heavy now. So that's why was my go to song. Like when he dropped, that's the first song I went to listen to. Are you serious? Yeah, because yeah, obviously Helen back, you know, yeah, yeah. And the instrumentals on that shit is mad. Oh my god! Yeah, you nah, 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 nah. yeah, he, man. He done, I, in fact, the whole album is a mad one. Nah, the, the, the whole album is good. It's a very good. This is a very good album. Proper, like you see, when when it comes end of the year, and then we're putting up the top ten album, that shit better be there, bro. Yeah, yeah. Is, is there, it? Is there in my top ten mm. already? The best albums of the year. Yeah, top ten. Yeah, yeah, it's there. Oh, I mean, no, top, top 10. 10. Yeah, yeah, no, not yeah, best album. Come on, B. Of, uh, you know what I'm saying? If you say yeah, top... Yeah, never end, no. Yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> now, if you say top 10, then there are so many albums that probably going to be there. Yeah, yeah, You know what I'm saying? But... I think the Mola is there. To make For it me. harder, do you think it's in your top three? Top five? Well, I'll, I'll say let, 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 the, let the year come to an end. Let the year go to an yeah, end. Because yeah, we yeah, never yeah. know. People are still yet to drop. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? People are still yet to drop. But, but it's a good album, though. The, the one with the, the Shown one is crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Shown yeah, yeah. Well, what's the year? Let me pull it. Yeah. But instrumental. There's one thing I've noticed with Fat Fire Boy now. Their proper emphasis on the instrumentals is mad. Yeah. Like, yeah, Afrobeat is going, like going to that point where. But it's not just your lamb and your stuff, but we want to listen to the, the to, beats. To, yeah, we want to listen to the music. Yeah. Not just waiting you to talk or yeah, something. Yeah, 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 I want to listen to the tunes, the, you know, melodies. The melodies on the, yeah, grab the strings and all that kind of stuff. And one thing this album has got is it's got melody. Yeah. Oh, you yeah. listen, it's Fireboy though, isn't it? It's right. Fireboy. If you're talking about Perry, if you're talking about, you know, Bandana as well, bro. You get me? You, like, you he, know what, true. He's always been, yeah. He's, he's, always, been, he's always been a melody guy. Mm. He's always been a melody guy. He does not like in that department at all. Yeah, nice. No, it's, it's a good. He album. got me. He doesn't like in that department at all. But the thing is, bruv, well, you know, you know, some sometimes I can be on my bullshit. Sometimes, bruv. Well, not sometimes. <laughs> stop, stop, stop giving yourself a pass, man. You're, you're, you're bullshit every time. <laughs> you know, unknown caller. Who is this? This person knows that we are recording at this time, bruv. Some unknown color, bro. Mm. Yeah. Um, <coughs> so, you know, I'm always on some bullshit and everything, bro. Mm. So I went on, on my man's IG and things, bro. Yeah. I am so tired of the guy, yeah, always trying to, you know, over-feminize. I think that's the word, feminize himself <laughs> and all that, bro. Fam, what kind of pictures are this, bro? My man is like... Yeah, I see it. You know what I'm saying? He's like this. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm saying, bro, I look like them, them, you know, them 80s disco dancers and everything, bro. Mm-hmm, you know, mm-hmm. yeah, them 80s, early 90s type thing. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's the way they do their thing, their 70s, 80s and all that shit. You see the men, the men are just, you know so what I'm saying? Kind of funny poses. Yeah, them funny poses and everything. I'm looking <laughs> at my man thinking, bro, what you doing, bro? Well, man is just, you know, I mean, he wants to be the African Afrobeat boyfriend or whatever. I, <laughs> like, I mean, that's what, hey, you can't, TK is that guy, bro, hey. But yeah, yeah, but still though, you know what I'm saying? Bro, I need that manly, yeah, cool, you saying, you got the melodies and everything, bro. But you, but you, but you gotta don't have to go, you know, doing the whole funny poses and that, bro. Well, nice style, no? I mean, I get it. I, I mean, get it. It's got the feminine, you know, some people got, got that trait in them. Like, I've, I know bare men that, you know, nothing about sexual or whatever, but it's just how they move. 
like they are, you know, always, you know, like, you mm. know, when, you know, extra, extra careful about everything. Yeah, bro. I'm looking at my man pictures and everything. You can actually see, see the makeup sometimes, bro. Yeah. Exactly. The, the, the lip, lip gloss. Especially. Yeah, the lip gloss, the eye thing. And then I'm looking at him like, well, bro, what's going on? You know what I'm saying? I understand that you're a celebrity, but come on, bro. You get me? But there's something else, level two of some bullshit that came into my mind now. Yeah. Now, I'm not saying it's him or whatever, right? But I just want to just throw it out there, bro. Do you think, as a culture, Afrobeats, Jaro, whatever, whatever you want to call it, do you think that we are ready for a gay man... Afrobeat artist, bruv. Hmm. <laughs> where, 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 did, where did this come from? <laughs> nah, bro. That ass, bro. Yeah. I mean. That ass because we are going so international. We are like worldwide right now. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Afrobeat to the world type thing. You know what I'm saying? Mm. I think at some point, mm. if that option is not there already, because I personally think I don't know if you are listening to to this guy. What's his name again? The guy that does the interviews via um, Instagram, Instagram Live. What's his name again? The popular guy in Nigeria. He interviews everybody. Who? Daddy Freeze. Daddy Freeze. Okay. He was even talking about it sometime this week. Mm. He said, "Bro, that a lot of celebrities in Nigeria are gay, bro." Mm. Yeah, yeah, I mean, there's always stories. Like, you know what I'm saying? Stories, we yeah. just nothing wrong with it. Yeah, no. Nah, Every, everyone to their own and everything, right? But. Do you think that Afrobeats is ready for a gay man artist, bro? I mean, you know, you know why that question is quite tricky? Because we say Afrobeat now, we know the market is outside of Africa these days, man. They have gone international, bro. Yeah. You know, so if you say, are we ready? I mean, the market, if the market is outside of Africa, then I think we are ready. Mm. But then, they, but, you know, then again, I mean, it, it, it plays here. Over here, that goes. You hear me? So it don't matter, but you've got to be proper, super talented, though. But I cannot forget the people back home, bruv. The yeah, way, yeah, yeah, but yeah, but I think I think Afrobeat is bigger than the people back home now, bro. <laughs> yeah, you think? Yeah, so? I think it's bigger than that. But then when you even think about that, bruv, people like Bob Brisk and them, bruv. Yeah, they're, they're not artists. Yeah, yeah, but they are celebrities, bruv. Yeah, I mean, back yeah. home and everything, bro. I mean, I mean, it is debatable. I don't look at them as celebrities or whatever, but they are, they've got some sort of influence on social media. Yeah, they've got a lot of clout. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? And and a lot of people gravitate towards them and everything. I personally think that we're already there. Now, you can debate as a society. Yeah, society might be a bit, still be a bit conservative, even though a lot of people do a lot of bullshit behind the scenes type thing. Very conservative. You know what I mean? But if you're talking about the industry, I think, I think, yeah, I think we're almost there. You'll be surprised, bro. You you'll be surprised that some, some of these men them are on that. Yeah, I mean that that's the thing. They they can be on that, but to come out with your chest and say, you know what, boom boom, this is me. Accept me for who I am. That that is. I don't think we're near there yet. Yeah, but I think forget about the Nigerian market right now. Yeah, mm. international wise, I think it's a huge market waiting for the first person that's gonna do it. Yeah, you got a point. Bro, if that, if, that first person will, will, will clear up. Bro, <laughs> if I'm into the music, music business, I am finding the first gay Afrobeat o- artist. Open bro. gay Afrobeat. Yeah, bro. Get songwriters, everything. Work on the person and all that shit. If, bro, if the person is talented, bro, different. I'm but telling you, bro. Yeah, I, I hear I'm, you, I'm, but... I'm telling you because, because the LGBTQ agenda here in the West and everything will gravitate towards that person. You get know what I'm saying? I think a, a little bit of it showed, um, was it not, uh, uh, what's her name? Ira Star. Yeah. I think, where, where, where did she go to? I forgot where, where she went to and everything. And the LGBTQ people there, like, loved that yeah. and everything. It was a big deal. Yeah. You get know what I'm saying? It was a big deal and everything. I honestly think, especially the new generation right now, I don't think they are on that tip as the older generation are on, bro. Yeah, I think they are very liberal, bro. Yeah, that, very yeah. liberal, bro. I mean, we have the females now. We have Daku, right? Yeah, Daku. Yeah, I mean, we have Daku, and she's cool with everybody, right? Now, I, I don't know. Um, Temi, is it Temi? Um, Tenny, Tenny, Tenny. Yeah. Now I don't know what she does in yeah. heaven. You get what I'm saying? But we have Daku, bro. But we know the male and the female is worlds apart, bro. 
Bro, like it, it's, nah, it's words are packed, bro. Bro, imagine my man, imagine the first gay Afrobeat artist singing, I wanna chuku chuku for no, Baku. No, no. <laughs> eh, on top. <laughs> <laughs> bro, I'm telling you, bro. Imagine that no, shit, no, bro. No. If, if that's what you're telling me, then that, that person is not gonna sell. Okay, bro. now. What do you mean? What are you talking about? <laughs> okay. Imagine some of the lyrics that some of these people are, are, are singing on right now. Someone like Ruga. Mm, yeah, I mean. Someone like Ruga, yeah? Take his lyrics, give it to a gay man, Afrobeat artist, right? And he sings it, mm. right? He can pass it off. He can pass it off. I mean, yeah, but he can pass, but yeah, he sings it as the way rumors. The lyrics, sings it. everything, bro. Like to a to I a woman. Wine, I go wine your waist, and at the back of your mind, you're thinking that he's singing it to a girl, while he's yeah. obviously singing it to a man. Yeah, but I mean, you. I don't... go wine your waist for back, go take you home. Chuku 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 bam bam. You guys, <laughs> yeah, you be Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I mean, I'm saying nah. I mean, I think I don't know. I bro. think we're there, bro. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. Because the thing is, people will say, yeah, 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 we're there, but that now, now, this is what I'm gonna say. Yeah, someone, yeah, don't get me wrong. Someone might be there already doing his thing, you know, hiding behind the door, whatever the wall, or whatever. Mm. But then again, when you come out and be like, yo, this is me. Are you ready for for what you're gonna get from the proper public? Like that backlash of. Boom, 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 this, this, that. But I don't think they're ready for it. I think if the person is cool, I think if the person is cool, got swag, the aura is dope, the person is not a bit too crap, uh, um, camp, you know, the person mm. is, you get what I'm saying? I think it would be cool, man. You get me? As long as the person is not a weirdo, mm. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. As long as the person is not a weirdo, I think, I think the, the, the person will, will be all right. Yeah, I mean, I, I mean, I, I, I'm not gonna sit here and say what I don't want to say, but obviously, you don't want people that are in that bracket not to. Yeah, do obviously, their thing. We, we, yeah. we don't want people getting harassed and everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got what I'm saying? But, but I think um, if I was in the music business, I probably will proper will shoot for ha- hunting for the first yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, I'll shoot for it. I'll shoot for it. That that's a big market for it. Out there, hmm. out there. It might, it might not necessarily translate to back home, even though I can make an argument that it can. But there's a big market for it out there, bro. But uh, yeah, over here I, I see the market, but yeah, uh, it's hard for me to see that back well, there. Bro. Well, hard. let's let's find out one of these days, bro. <laughs> <laughs> let's find out one of these days, bro. I, imagine someone comes out now and be like, yeah, I mean, we go support them. Most, yeah, yeah, we all, of course, bro. Of course, of course, of course, bro. I see you lick, licking your lips over there, bro. I, I started having a bit of PTSD, bro. I think I just. Rob some balm for my lip, bro. I don't want to be out here looking all ashy, bro. Yeah. You got me. You pull, pull, pull out the lipstick. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 bro. I need to pull out the lipstick, bro. I don't even want to. I know what Miss Wallace does say, bro. Your, your lip is a bit ashy over there, bro. Mm. You know what I mean? Come pull out the lipstick, bro. Yes, sir. But, but mind you, this is not a lipstick, bro. Yeah, yeah, nah, no, no, but they, they they know already. But when you see the yellow and red cap, bro, come on. No, I'm no, I'm <laughs> telling you, bro, because you always call my shit a lipstick, bro. You know, Chris. <laughs> Lip balm, bro. You guys, <laughs> it's not called the bashing lipstick. Stick balm, bro. Yeah, no, no, no. Call it the right thing, bro. They crazy. You get me? Uh, yeah, bro. But but yeah, man. So good, though. It's so good. Nah, we're here. <laughs> Listen, bro. So so we have a bit of a, a tad bit heated conversation <laughs> in the group chat, tonight, bro. Oh. Yeah, we did. <laughs> you guys, uh, we had a tad bit heated conversation in the group chat and everything because, yeah, yeah. because our stands, we obviously stand on two different sides when it comes to things like this, right? Mm. So I think we should dive into it, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why not? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So obviously, um, that was uh, an unfortunate situation that happened. Yep. Chris Carver. Yep. You know, and um, it was quite unfortunate. For people that don't know who Chris Kaba is, I had to do a little bit of biography test and everything, you know, to kind of get his stuff, right? So Chris Kaba, um, his nickname, May Dix or Mad Dix or Mad Itch, right? So he is a rapper, construction worker, slash, he's a member of a gang. Slash Roadman, yeah. You got me, slash Roadman. You know, 
part of the six seven gang in London, right? So um, unfortunately, on September twenty twenty two. He, he was stopped by the police, armed police, which is a bit unusual, mm. you know, in London or the UK. And the next thing that we heard was he was shot in the head. But no one really had, will I say, his rap shit. Like a full picture of Like, like a full picture of him and everything. Yeah. Even the jury, nobody, they kind of sealed it. The family, the family requested that they seal it off, right? So which they did. Now, it went to trial, obviously, and um, the policeman got acquitted, right? And obviously, after he got acquitted, that's when the judge now ordered for his rap shit to be unsealed. Yeah. Now, there have been a lot of pro, a lot of conversations, you know, protesting and everything, right? Now, you have one side of the fence say... That was a bit excessive. He should not have been killed. He should not have been shot. This, 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 that. Mm -mm -mm. You had the other side say that um, he was using the car as a weapon because when he was stopped, he was ramping the police because he was trying to get away from the scene. Mm. And then obviously the police thought that they were in danger and everything and they shot him. You know? And, and then you have the other side that said, listen, I don't feel bad for man. You know what I'm saying? He is a gang member. He shot people. You know, his his car was involved in a shooting the night before the incident happened. You know, and then obviously we all saw the video of what happened in August 2022. So you now have all these sites and everything, right? Mm. Now, I'm gonna try to you first. Yeah, yeah. What side are you on when it comes to this? My side. I'm on. I mean, if if you've Place the sides already. I'm on the side of, I think, excessive force was applied. Okay. Yeah, I mean, there's no... Now, the thing is, he's... Yeah, we know he's this, you know, gangster road man, yeah. But the, the fact is, his... Whatever rap she's history was not on trial. Like, that, that's not a reason to now kill man. Yeah, if you're up or whatever, then yeah, I see that. But if you're officer of the law, that's not enough reason. Like, say I killed somebody yesterday... Two days ago, it's no reason for you as an officer to come and be like, Bloom. that's because because of whatever I've done in the past. So that's like out of the out of the question already. Now to the to the whole, you know, trying to get away. Now people pat panic. This is the way I see it. Like police officers are trained well enough to to defuse situations like this. This is why they are maxmen. You know, I mean, you and I, you you cannot just walk up there and say, oh yeah, you want to be a maxman for the police now. Nah. You have to go through rigorous training, don't you? Like, mm -hmm. it's not, not everybody will just carry a gun and be like, yeah. So, with that, there's a, 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 there's a whole leap of responsibility on your head not to just be shooting anyhow, like, for, this, for just the shooting sake. Nah, you can't do that. Mm -mm 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 -mm. So, for that reason, yeah, it was a bit excessive, in my opinion. Right. That is, that's to the shooting of the guy. That's, there's loads of angles to it. But you know what? What happened on that day shouldn't have happened, bro. Like, there's no way, you know, people say, yeah, he used this thing as a, as a weapon. What weapon? He wasn't going to go anywhere at the end of the day. Like, there were, there were instances where people were going to the side road to break down the, the thing. So it was safe enough for, for some of his colleagues, that I'm talking about the police people now, to go close to the car and try to ram the you know, windows and stuff. It was safe enough for them to do that. So where, where did this danger come from? All of a sudden, the danger is so imminent that you're shooting someone to kill them. That was a headshot, you know? I know. Yeah, and just one shot. So he, he must have aimed properly because I mean, these people are trained for it. Yeah, of course. They are. And then, pew. Nah, I don't think it was like, you know, shoot him somewhere at least. Like, if you have to shoot a gun, shoot, there's other places to shoot. Like, the windscreen is that wide where his shoulders, there, his hand, there's every, like, other places to shoot at. You see where I'm coming from? I hear you. So I don't see, I don't see why he should have went to the headshot first. Now, that is excessive for me. I hear now, that. Now, it, does that equate to murder or whatever then, you know? Yeah, that is debatable now. But you see, if, if excessive force was used, yeah, yeah, excessive, very excessive. So what do you say to people that say, the police does not know what's in that car, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. The car was used for a shootout the night before. Mm. The police does not know if it has a gun or not. Yeah. So you're walking into a situation where 
you just don't know. You're, you're basically blinded, right? Mm. And you're walking into the situation with this guy who you guys know, he's a gun toting gangster. We have seen the videos, so it's yeah. not alleged. Yeah, no, it is. You got what I'm saying? Right? So, so in that situation, what do you say to people that say, you know what, I can see where a policeman might might just panic and just shoot him? Yeah, no, I, I yeah, no, I could see that. Now, don't get me wrong, I could see where, you know, because don't get me wrong, like this, their their job is difficult enough. That's my point. And he made it even more difficult for, for them. That's my point. At the end of the day. But then again, you cannot, because of how difficult, how stressful it is, you cannot now, you know, submit to that, you know, take, take away. You cannot now take away that responsibility that falls on them now. Nah. Like these people are, are trained in far more distressing situations. Like a, a car going back and forth, back and forth. Yeah, distressful, very distressing, yes. But... You know, but now this is the metropolitan, you know, armed forces, bro. Like, this is the police. Like, we know normal police don't carry guns. This is the guys that yeah, carry yeah, guns. Like, this is like the SWAT, isn't it? Yeah, this is top, top tier. Yeah. So you can't tell me, you know, yeah. That's why I see where, okay, man, he must have panicked. Or then call it what it is. Don't say, yeah, he deserved to die. And mind you, these guys did not know who was driving that car. I think they know. They knew the okay. They knew the car was the car was related to gun. I, I think I think I think that they I think, you know, knowing how the police work and everything, all the forces and everything, they are not just trailing anyone. They they have their eyes on him. Man, for they, for they, the police to approach you like that, mm -mm. they've been watching you. They've been watching you. Yeah, you know no, what I'm saying? I, I hear, yeah, I, I they've been watching. That, they that. know who was in that car. They know the caliber of person that he is, right? Which is the reason why. They came the way they came. And the thing is, he knew that the police was following him. Because, yeah. because apparently he was on a phone call to somebody saying, yo, they're on me. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I guess, you know, because we had this conversation and everything, you know, I didn't want to come across as being sensitive because obviously somebody lost their life. Right? But but other reason why I always, I struggle with this. Let me tell you the reason I struggle with this situation, this Chris Kaba saw situation, right? Mm. Because I understand what we've been through as black people, you know? And I understand that us as black people, we want to stand up for each other and everything. You know, it's good just like every other race does, yeah, yeah. right? <laughs> if you look at the Jews, they are committing genocide in Gaza and everything, but you cannot tell a Jew nothing. They are all banding together, singing the same tune, all that stuff, right? So I understand that. You go, what I'm saying? I understand our experiences and all that kind of stuff. Now, the flip side of the coin is, you know, sometimes I am sick and tired, right, when it comes to our people as a black community, right? The only time we see go for me, all those many, many things, right? Yeah. It seems like we are, awarding crime, right? It seems like, all right, if you want to go fund me, go become a criminal, you know, fight with the police, potentially maybe die, and then mm. we will raise money for you. Yeah. We will champion you. You know what I'm saying? It's so hard. I've never seen us raise money for someone who is trying to go to medical school. I've mm -hmm. never seen, seen us raise money for somebody who's trying to go to law school, who's trying to start a business. You get what I'm saying? It's like, yeah, we did it. Bro, you see how many millions that they raised for George Floyd. And this is coming for somebody who went on the whole match thing, oh, oh justice for George Floyd, everything, which I'm not going to lie today. You know, I kind of regret it. You go, I mean, the yeah, reason but, is, the reason is because of the organization behind it. Mm. You go, I'm saying, yes, does black lives matter? Yes, it does. You go, I'm saying, in the sense of the, of the phrase and everything, but not the organization. We saw now the bullshit that the organization is part of, right? So I, I cannot regret merging myself to that. But then now it, I started thinking, are we rewarding crime? You get what I'm saying? Yeah. And with my personal experience, 
when it comes to gangsters or criminals and everything, everybody knows the story that I've told when it came to my mother's situation, where I was there where my mom got shot. Point blank. Mm. You get know what I'm saying? And I know how some of these people think. We are not going to talk about, I don't know if you want to talk about it, but I'm not going to talk about my personal life as well. Being, yeah, you know nah, what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. Being around some of these people and everything. You know how they think. They don't feel, they don't feel bad for you, bro. They will pop you. Mm. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. You know, so the way us, you know, normal human beings think, it's not the way they think. These are sociopaths and everything. These are psychopaths. They will do anything. You know, and then you see the video of him in the club mm. shooting at somebody in a crowded environment. Yeah. That tells me this guy does not have a value for life. You yeah, know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah. So, if you don't have a value for your life, if you don't have a value for somebody else's life, you're not thinking about your kid or your kids. I, I don't know how many kids he has and everything. You're not thinking about your family. Why should I? Mm. Why should I be given that burden to feel bad for you if you don't feel bad for yourself and for your loved ones? Mm. You get my point? Yeah, no, I get what you're now, saying. No, I'm not wishing you death or whatever. Cool. The whole excessive thing and all that, yes, that can be debatable. You get what I'm saying? But then I can also say, Maybe the police just didn't know. They, they just expecting anything. You know what I'm saying? And now, boom, we stop this guy. He's clearly not stopping. He's just ramping up and everything. Oh, shit, who knows what, what that's going to happen? You know what I'm saying? Cool. That whole situation can be debated, but I cannot feel sorry for somebody who passed doing what they enjoy doing, being a rebel. Yeah, I mean. You know what I mean? If you know that there was nothing in that car... Or if you know that you had nothing in you, or, or rather on you, yeah, why don't you just stop the car? And then now, demand for your lawyer, wherever the case is, because you already know, oh shit, maybe maybe it's because of what I've done or whatever. You know. You know what I mean? Yeah. Now now fight the case in, in court. If you ramp up and, and drive off an airframe, bro, this is the UK, where are you going to? Mm. You get my point? Yeah. Where really are you going to? There's camera everywhere. You know what I'm saying? So to me, I, I also, I look at it from both sides and everything. Mm. I'm thinking, bro, we don't know what this guy is on to. We know that this guy, he's a shooter, clearly. Mm. So we have to be prepared for anything. You know what I'm saying? But I kind of struggle to feel bad for people who live the crime life. You know what I mean? Knowing what I've experienced when it comes to crime. Yeah. Knowing what my family, my mom has experienced when it comes to crime. I cannot feel bad for them. Yeah, no, I hear you. And I mean, I, I wouldn't say I feel bad for him because one, I don't, even, I don't know him. You know, so it's hard for me to feel bad for him. But then again, it's separate. This is it's different to feel bad and then to say, boom, I think oh, it, it was wrong to kill him. Yeah. Like you, you know, you that I don't conversation can always be yeah, yeah, because yeah. because like say check this scenario, like say police they're they're giving a high chase. There's there's a certain way you're gonna drive high chase, they they withdraw from the chase. Mm -hmm. Like cause not not to cause harm to people or themselves or you even driving the car, they withdraw to see, you know, to see where you're going. Because like you said, where are you gonna go? So put that same scenario to Chris Carba. Now, where was he gonna go? So why kill him then? You get what I'm saying? So there, 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 there are instances where he, he would have... I'm sure if, the, if you could rewind time now, that man, the maximum, would not have taken that shot. It would, there's no way you tell me it, it, tomorrow in that scenario he would have take, done the same thing. No way. Do you think it was fair for them to um, expose his identity, the maximum? I mean, then again, yeah, I, I don't think it would. I mean, I'm saying, I'm saying, because then again, that, that's a job. That's someone's job. To, to be to be a maximum. So if if it goes left like that, I don't. It's not fair to put him out there. No, I don't think so. It's not. It's, it's not fair. But then again, that doesn't mean he's not going to you know solve whatever crimes you know do do the business for crime you've committed. Yeah, but to put his name out there and then you know because yeah yeah because the reason why I sorry cut you off is they decided to sell his 
Chris Cabas history. Mm -hmm. I wonder why. Right? Yeah. Why don't you want people to know the individual? You know what I'm saying? No, no, but that would have that would have affected the case, isn't it? Because the juries would know that, oh, this is a this is a gangster, then it would be a one-way traffic. Yeah, yeah, but then the way you guys are, are trying to do it, no, no, you guys, but the yeah. family as well, they are trying to influence the case as well. Because they are trying to make it as if, oh my god, he's just an upstanding citizen and everything who just got stopped and then this crazy ass policeman just shot him in the head. No, but it's possible they did not they did not know what it was about. No, no the no the jury Okay. The the that's my point. The jury apparently didn't know nothing about the dude. Mm. Didn't know about his history and everything. Yeah. Everyone just finding out a couple of days ago. Yeah, because they unsealed it. Yeah, that's that's because why now yeah. they exactly my point. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So them not knowing, not knowing the real person, right? If you just hear it, you might think, oh my God, he's just an upstanding citizen and all that, who 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 police yeah. brutality and everything, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Because I was watching um, what's his name again? This guy on LBC. Um, oh shit. I forgot his name, bro. The good guy, the Irish guy, but I believe he's Irish or something like that. You know what I'm saying? You could see the disappointment in his face because he was one of the people that was also championing, you know, justice for Chris. Mm. But when everything now came out, right, a journalist now called in and everything and now started giving the, the lowdown to do it and everything, you could see the disappointment on his face. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And to me, to me, sometimes I feel like we, we do a bit too much. Yes, now, you know, the black community is not, it's not only the community that does crime. Italians do crime, white people do crime, and all this kind of shit. Cool, we get it. You know what I'm saying? But sometimes I just don't like the fact that anytime we come out in mass, anytime we want to do GoFundMe, it's mm. for some bullshit. Yeah, I mean, it's not surprising, is it? But that's the thing, though. It's like we are rewarding bullshit. Yeah, I mean, the, then it, I mean, if we're going to speak to to that, then yeah, we we, we do we we, we, bullshit, we, we do we do reward bullshit. Come on, like it's not. It looks like look. Listen to all the all the rap, rap all the rap songs are out there, but it's glorifying gang activity, and they are the ones that make the most sales. People are buying that shit on iTunes like it's Google Music. Yeah, sing your proper good. Tell me any good rapper that's making proper waves out there. None. None. You have to be like a gangster drill. So we do reward criminality. But let, let's call it what it is. What it is. It like, sells, isn't it? Yeah. yeah, it sells. So that's even out of. That's why I don't. I don't really look at that and be like, because it's not. It's not surprising that people are out there saying, yeah, 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 yeah. It's not surprising. Yeah. I mean. I mean. I mean. To me. To me, that's a bit different than to do go fund me. Mm. Right. We do go fund me. George Floyd, for example, they raised millions millions yeah Mark, for his family but but the come on but the joy there's no way you watch that and then you think you're i mean you'll be moved to at least put something uh, i think job for one is quite different because yeah yo that shit was crazy i hear it but yeah. my own philosophy in life has always been if you don't care about your family if you don't care about your loved ones why should i mm. if you don't care about them or love them to the point where you say, you know what? Because of them, let's because of this, this arrest, bro. Yeah. We've seen people, bro. We've seen people say, bro, you know, I had to change my life because because of my yeah. my kid. Baby, yeah, yeah. We've seen it. We've seen that happen. Because you want to be there for your kids. Mm -hmm. Right? So, so if you don't have that in you, why should we care? I've never understood that. Why should mm -hmm. I contribute to a GoFundMe? For you or for your family, because obviously you're no longer here, why should I do that if you don't care about your family, bro? So yeah. it's like we are saying, hey, live a life of crime, you know, die, and then we will just make your family millionaires. Yeah. I, mean, I, I don't understand that. Yeah, no, but, but, but we never do that. We never do that for people that say, hey, you know, I want to start a business. Like the actual upstanding people. Upstanding yeah. people. Yeah. We don't praise them. You yeah. know what I'm saying? If anything, we hate them that we call them squares, weirdos, and everything. Da, 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 da. You know what I'm saying? When are we going to raise, do go for me for people that want to go to medical school? Yeah, no, I hear that. You get my point? Yeah, no, definitely. On, on that, on that, you're on point. Yeah, on that is like, yeah. You know, so I'm sick and tired of all that and everything. Rest in peace to 
to the guy, obviously. I don't have an issue with the guy and all that, you know, but I just don't want to come across as being sensitive and everything. But to me, I just have a problem with the whole premise of the whole thing. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I don't think you are, I mean, then again, I, like I said, I don't feel sorry for him, anything. Rest in peace. But then again, I can always still say, boom, he didn't have to die. Mm. You know, he didn't have to die in the hands of a police, of that policeman. Yeah. I mean, police, if, if you had seen a gun where he's shooting, then okay. But you're trained to, you know, de-escalate them kind of situations where, you know, you see all the time in training, they stimulate all them kind of stuff where it's even more stressful. Yeah, of, course. of course. So in that time, you're meant to keep your cool the same way you were able to keep your cool and aim for the head and pew. Keep your cool and see what's going on before you now let that little shot out. That's yeah, just, yeah. yeah that's it, was, it was a bit too much. You know, because, we, because we're complaining right now, bro. Imagine if we're in America, bro. Yeah, that's how I was there. But in America, they, they go down blast. It's like... <laughs> the, whole, the whole car will be riddled with bullets. You know what I mean? And, yeah. and to me, yeah, and to me, that's one reason why I'm very wary. I'm very wary when it comes to this whole thing of police brutality. Oh my God, it's racism and all this kind of shit. Everything is not racism, bro. You got know what I'm saying? I don't know if you saw this. Oh, May I don't. I can't remember if I put it in the group chat or that, right? That was this one happened in America. Where an a, a a BLM person who's a transgender, right? Mm. It came out that the person was shot by the police, right? A man who's trans transitioned into a woman, six foot plus, I believe, I believe maybe like six five, huge, right? It came out. Everybody said, "Oh my God, police brutality! This is racism. They hate transgenders and everything, right? Killing the police and all that for sure, shit, right? All of a sudden, the video came out." Bro, the video is crazy. So, so it wasn't. So. Police came and knocked on my man's door, right? Because my man was playing loud music. So I, I don't know if that was the reason why the police came and knocked on the door, right? Knocked on the door. My man opened the door and slashed the police with with a knife on the face. Yeah, yeah. you could see. Through, through the body cam and everything. My guy had a knife and everything, bro. The police guy was bleeding there, bro. My guy charged towards the police, bro. Stab it. You get me? The guy had to shoot him. Yeah. The guy had to shoot him. Boom, boom, boom. You get what I'm saying? You said, you, you get what I'm saying? But we didn't have the full picture before that. And everyone was shouting racism. This, that, 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 that. You get what I'm saying? And I don't know about you lot, bro. I I need the police, bro. Yeah, no, everyone needs the police. I need the police. No, because because the police. sometimes we are like we done. No, we bro, all do. Imagine we all do. if we don't have the police for, for 24 hours, bro. Chaos, mm. bro. No, we all do. No, no one is saying no police. But then again, imagine if we had like a proper police that's got no racial babayas in them. It'd be even better police. Bro, everybody have a racial bias in them, bro, including black people, bro. Everybody does. Everybody does. Yeah, but if we, we 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 should stop acting like it's just a white thing, bro. No, it's everybody not. Everybody yeah. have a racial bias in them. No, I, I get you, but then again, if you put if you put yourself not you being put you put yourself in a position of power, then that shouldn't come. You know that shouldn't affect the way you judge things. I I, I, I agree yeah, with you. Like bro. yeah, of course. When I see a, a black brother, I'm like yeah, you know, yeah, it's everyone. It's human nature at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. But. If I'm a, trust me, if I'm a police person, I'm not going, okay, looking for the next white man to shoot. Mm. So it's not, that's not, that's not what's, you know, the deciding what I do. I mean, but some people, I'm not saying everybody, right? Because there's a reason why we all scream your, 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 your police brutality, because it happens all the time. But then, but then for the most part, we now come, come back and find out that, that that's not the case. And to me, it's, that, that's my point. Mm. You're not realizing that, nah, that's not the case. Actually, Boom, 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 happened before the person got shot. You got what I'm saying? Yeah. We're no, now finding out everybody's looking like an idiot. Everyone is looking at, oh my God, I can't believe I, I was supporting this shit. You got what I'm saying? And yeah, to me, yeah. that's the reason why I believe that seeing the whole facts and then you can now make a decision from there. You got what I'm saying? And if the police was wrong, they should face the charges and all that kind of stuff. You got what I'm saying? Yeah. And to me, that's, to me, that's how I just look, look at the whole situation, bro. Yeah, now nah, they obviously like it's it's good to you know have the full picture. Obvi yeah, but then again, I'm saying the the ones where it goes where you know it's, it's the person's victim's fault, where it's kind of like maybe one to ten, 
Maybe, or maybe, I'd give you maybe two to ten. I think it's more frequent than you think, you know. But I don't think so. Because if it was, then, you know, trust me, it wouldn't, be, you know, that voice of police, police, police brutality would not be there. Like, come on, this is like, even personally, like, the, I feel sometimes when I get stopped, it's like, because of the color of my skin, bro. Bro, I've been stopped. And I've been stopped by the police. And you don't think it's because of the color of your skin? I don't think so, bro. Because, At that point. Because you know why? That was a time, honestly speaking, mm. I was coming back from work and everything. Believe you or not, I was coming back from work. I got to a T-junction. Normally, you have to wait for the car on the right to go before you go, right? But they were kind of slow. I was like, bro, I just need to go home. I just, you know what I'm saying? The next thing, they followed me, right? And literally, I came into my street. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I came into my street, parked in front of my house. The guy came out, came to me, looked at me. Hello, sir, how you doing? I said, I'm good. How are you? He said, I'm good. He said, um, do you know the reason why I was stopping you? I said, uh, no. Because honestly, I didn't know. He said, oh, because of do 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 do. I said, oh, okay. I apologize for that. You got me. And he said, oh, can, can I see your license? I said, yeah, I gave him my license. He went back to his car, checked his thing, came back, gave it to me. He said, all right, cool. Have a good day. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Another situation. I was coming back from Kent. This was like two, three o'clock in the, in the morning. Obviously, driving and shit. You know what I'm saying? Now, in that situation, I might say, maybe it was because of the color of my skin. You know what I'm saying? But my man, he saw me. I was driving the way I was driving because I just went to get home and all that. And then, wee, 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 wee. Do you know what I did? Parked on the side. He came out. He looked at me. He said, yo, you good? I said, yeah, I'm all right. How mm -hmm. are you? He gave, I looked at my man dead in the eye. I said, yeah, how are you? He said, I'm good and everything, man. He said, uh, are, you, are you rushing anyway? I said, yeah, I'm just rushing to go home, man. He said, all right, cool. Just take it easy. Then. I said, cool, bet. I left. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So I think I've been stopped in my life. I think I've been stopped like three times. One time I was coming back from the gym. You get me? I drove through. This one, I was at fault. There was this shortcut and all that because normally you have to come out of the road, drive left, go through the roundabout, and then come back again, right? But there was this little road where you can just get into that mm -hmm. road. And go, you know what I'm saying? I didn't see the police that was there. I followed the road and everything. Obviously, they saw me. Wait, 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 wait. They stopped me, came to me. He looked at me. He said, bro, you got to be careful, you know. I said, all right, mate. I apologize. It's all right. Cool, go your way. You got me? Yeah. So for the most part, and mind you, I was in gym gear, T-shirt, all the many things. You get know what I'm saying? On that particular station, I was not in suit and all that. Right? So from my experience and all that, mm. yeah, yeah, sometimes you might say, okay, maybe it was the color of my skin. I'm not saying it doesn't happen. Yeah. But but for the most part, bro, if you're if you're calm, if you're decent, you yeah, know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, they're, 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 they're not gonna be hostile towards you and all that. But the thing is, sometimes a lot of people, once they're stopped by the police, yo, I know my right, man. What the fuck do you do? I'm not gonna worry. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And sometimes these people are human beings. Now, I'm not making excuses for them because they should know better as the law people, right? But sometimes ego trip yeah, and all that definitely, you know, yeah. kicks in. Then now, now it's now escalates to all this fucking bullshit. No, no, I mean we're, we're not seeing here saying all of the police. They they they're good guys that work for the police. Yeah, Trust but me, then yeah. again, those bad guys make it bad for everybody because there's no way that some people will get stopped for not nothing where it's like stop you, drag you out of the car, do do this and that, just for like that's the way you just say yeah you you you, you took a shortcut and then you're being stopped. Like imagine if you're being stopped by that kind of person. Yeah, of course. Yeah, man. It would escalate. And you'll be there thinking, trust me, you're not going to be calm then because you're thinking, why is he dragging me out of my car like this? You get me? And then from there, it's turning to something else. So that is the that is the thing where those few bad eggs make it, you know, smell for everyone. The few bad eggs. The few bad eggs make it smell for everyone. We're not saying the, the whole, but yeah, we need, the, we need protection. Come on. Yeah, we do. We do need protection. But then again, we should be able to call them out if this... Bad eggs misbehave. Uh, that's a fact. That's a fact. That's a yeah. Fact. So, yeah. Peace and love, but... Hey. Peace and love, but, but, you know, rest in peace, my man. Bro. No, rest in peace. Rest in peace. Rest in peace. Go, I mean, but, in I peace, mean there, there's, a, there's, a, there's a family grieving now. Yeah. You know. For I mean, for no... For what reason, uh, you know? Yeah. In in a way, I just feel like, you know, hope, you know, this, this young men and women should probably just take it easy, bro. You know, we are looking at the situation with young, with Lil Lil Duck now. Yeah. 
we we that. We still ties into the whole we we kind of we can, what's the word you use? We kind of reward, not reward, but what's the right word to use? Yeah. It's, it's like, it's good for you. Let's show us you're a man. You're a man for shooting up another man. You got what I'm saying? But that's the thing though. It's only in our culture, yeah, when it comes to hip hop. It's only in hip hop that we want you to be real. We want you to do the things that you're talking in your music and everything. We don't do that with, with movies. We don't do that with r and Yeah. We don't do that with any other form of music. It's a hip hop, bro. If you say you're a shooter, yeah. You know, we want you to go and spin the block, bro. We want you to go and slide, bro. You get me? When that whole thing happened with King Von and all that, you know, bro, if you go on this page and, like, bro, they were trolling my man, say, yo, are you not going to slide for Von? Are you not going to slide for Von? Now, this thing happened. The same people are saying, bro, you're an idiot, bro. It's the internet, bro. Yeah, the, the Lil Duck one is crazy, though. You know what I'm saying? Like, like it's just one of them ones. And sometimes this artist, feel like they have to live up to the hype. Now, I am not blaming the internet. I'm not blaming anybody else because we're still going to get to that when it comes to Bonaboy, um, Davido and Whiskey. Mm. I am not blaming anybody else but the artist because he is the head on Joe. Yeah, they I mean. make the ultimate decisions. Mm, mm, mm. They are grown men and women it's either they are men or they are not. We can't choose when we say, oh, you know, they are young. And then tomorrow we say, yeah, bro. That... No, 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 no. I hear that. I hear that still. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. These are fathers, bro. These are wives, mm-hmm. girlfriends, fiancés. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Uncles, we bear responsibility. We bear responsibility. You have all this entourage that, 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 that you're feeding or depend on you. You know what I'm saying? You're making all these billions, all these millions and everything. I don't want to hear, I don't want nobody blaming the internet. I don't want nobody blaming trolls. Now, do I think that social media has its own pressure and everything? And do I think that sometimes people want to live up to the social media pressure? Yes. Mm. But ultimately, it comes down to the person, bro. Because you have to look at your freedom. And you have to sometimes look at, hey, listen, all right, cool. I lost a homie. You know, it hurts. Sometimes, yes, you want a revenge and everything, but you, but you go away, you're up, bro. You go away, bro. You're you're you you are talking about the police, bro. You're talking about the FBI, bro. The biggest gang in the you, game. You know what I'm saying, bro. The yeah. biggest gangs in the game, bro. Yeah. That have all these resources, fam. Even if you delete text messages from your phone, bro, they can tap into iCloud, bro. <laughs> yeah. They, they can't now, innit? They can't talk. That's how they have a text message where Lil Durk sent to whoever booked the flight and the cars and the guns or whatever to say, yo, don't book anything with anything that is linked to my name. Mm. Obviously, he deleted it from his phone. But you know what they did? They tapped into the cloud, bruv. Wow, it's, a, it's a rap for my man. Bro, know? I don't understand. Honestly to God, yeah? I do not understand, and I don't want to come across as, you know, holier than thou and everything, bro. I honestly do not understand how anyone still commits crime in 2024. Mm. I honestly don't understand that. Because, because they have everything, they see everything. Now, obviously, petty, petty crime here and there, cool. You know, if you want to, you know, cool. But I'm talking about them ones that attract. Yeah, where the, someone is losing the, their life. The big boys. You get me? Or maybe if, if you're a G-boy, if you're a scam and everything, and you're going for the millions and everything, it's, it's going to it's gonna attract the big boys. You know what I'm saying? Mm. It's going to attract the big boys. I honestly don't understand how anyone in 2024 still coming crime. Yeah. I mean, it doesn't pay. Crime, does, I mean, it doesn't pay like they say. You get know what I'm saying? And yeah. how are you one of the biggest artists in the world and you're still in this? It's crazy. But in his defense, though, sometimes these these people, there's is this bucket where this vicious circle where it's all they know. Like we say, okay, they're grown men, they they're making millions now. But sometimes, you know, that making millions, yeah, it's still that same guy who loves the same gunslinging that's mm. making millions now. Where what do you expect him to do? To stop stop slinging gun and then stop do what? 
You know, so that's why sometimes when I'm when I'm thinking about it, I'm thinking, you know what, put yourself in their shoes. Where, well, I mean, if I put myself in their shoes, I would do better, be, be, better. There you go. But then again, you still have to. Bro, these guys are facing life, bro. Yeah, crazy, bro. A, they, a whole little doc, you know? bro. These are, I'm not gonna lie, that one paid me. Yeah, crazy. You know, I saw that. I was like, damn. I said, I know that this guy regrets the day he met King Von. You reckon? Yeah, I mean, because 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 yeah. uh, of yeah, oh, well, because, he because, would eventually, bro, bro. Because because every if you look at their history together, it's been one problem after another, one problem after another, one problem after another. Yeah. You know what I mean? And people like Kim Vern are oh, those are people that bring so much issue to your life, yeah, but they just don't know how to go away. You try to escape them, they are still coming. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I swear to God, I, when he looks back, he'll be like, bro, I should have met that guy. Because he, all these issues started with him meeting fucking King Vern. But then again, I, what I would say to that is, bro, we we meet we meet people, we meet road men every day, bro. Yeah, bro. But I mean, then again, but are you now going around killing people? Yeah, but the thing is, some people just don't have discernment. I'm listen. I'm the type of person. I'm very quick to cut someone off. Yeah. I don't have issues with cut, cutting someone off, bro. Yeah. That's me. Yeah, yeah. You shouldn't. Nobody should. Shh. Once I sense that you're on some bullshit, I'll cut you off. Straight up. I know, bro. I just don't want stories, bro. I'm, I'm my, uh, at this point in my life. And especially at this age. At this age as well. <laughs> I don't right. want stories, bro. Can't be med meddling with that, you know. It yeah. got me in. It's, it's, it's too much to enjoy outside. Talk about culture. That's not, first of all, that's not my culture. That, that's not black culture, bro. <laughs> yeah, that, say that, well, that, because that. I don't understand where they say the, what picks me off is the whole black culture. Nah, that's not nah, my that's culture. That's not black culture, bro. You like, you know, allow me without, you know, killing killing each other is black culture. Nah, when when not, is that the culture? Nah, no it's way. Not, it's not. It's not. It's not. It's no, it's, shit, it's sad. It's sad. And there's bad people going through this circle where, you know, killing each other, thinking, you know, that that is the way to be a man. You see, you see, and and I think one of the things we need to touch on is there, there's bare, and I don't want to blame it on women, there's bare single parents raising kids that, you know, basically the streets are raising the, these kids for, for them. Yeah, absolutely. You know? Absolutely. So I don't I don't see where, where that will go. When the street is full of killers, what do you expect this child to be become when they grow up? If they are raised by the streets, isn't it? You know what I mean? And sometimes some of these guys, they they also crash out because of chicks as well. They also crash out because of chicks. You know what I mean? But hey, listen. Nice. It's sad. It's sad, bro. It's sad. It's, it's, sad. it's, sad. it's, it's sad. sad. It's sad. It's sad. It's sad. But let's have some fun, bro. Let's have yeah, some fun. Let's let's talk some music, fam. Innit? <laughs> <laughs> let's talk Go some on. music and everything, bro. Mm. New new music is out, bro. New music. There are a lot of music this week, bro. You know what I mean? I, I, I was kind of just going through them and everything, man. You know what I'm saying? And they got some new music. Queen Maddie. Mm. She's out with some some nice, nice tune from. Well, I love, Goose, I, I love Maddie any day. Yeah, yeah. Goosebumps and that, bro. Black Shrift. Yeah. Came out as well with Rebel Music, bro. You know what I'm saying? Sakode. Jayla. Mm. Featuring Victory. Victory, but I would like yeah. to hear that. I've not heard that. Is yet. it? Let's just check that out. Let's check it. Just do a little snippet. Yeah. You got me. Let's check that one out real quick, bro. Saturday featuring Victor Nibraf. Bro, this is crazy, bro. Now, quick, quick, come before you before you play on what's up, but you you see you see hook the hook masters, bro. I think Victor is he's up there. Yo, he's I I would I would say, bro, he's he is sitting on that crown, you know. I uh, He's up there for me. I, I, know, I, know you're gonna, I know what name is on your head. Oh, that, yeah. that, uh, <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Benson. Oh, Benson, bro. <laughs> Benson, bro. But, uh, but I'm saying, Bob, I think he's sitting on Benson, you know. You think in terms so? Of, in terms of hook-wise. Now, Benson will give will do him damage when it's not past the hook now, when it's not to do his own own thing. Okay, okay, But leave it, okay. Leave it at the hook, Papa. I think Victor will give anybody a run for the money. No, he's definitely hook, up there. Papa. He's definitely up there. He's Papa, just the hook. Forget his own vast or whatever, but you should just give him that hook. That hook. Yeah, yeah. yeah he'll kill that it. That chorus, he will kill any chorus, yeah, bro. Yeah, he'll kill it. He'll kill it. He'll kill it. He'll kill it. The only thing is, I would me, I'm very biased when it comes to Benson, yeah, but yeah, yeah, Victor I mean, Salut. Yeah. 
Salute. He will do his shit on that one still. Yeah, man. So we got that. We got Stone Boy. Oh, yeah. Stone Boy up and right. It's an album, yeah. man. Yeah, it's an album and everything. Yeah. We got Magix. We let me know. We got Mastercraft and CDQ as well. Mm. Yeah. We got Joshua Baraka, bro. You know what? Uh, Shout- play, play, play Joe Joshua. Bro. Yeah, Joe Joshua bro. is fa- family, bro. He's, yeah, he's, he's been family, on the team, bro. He's been on the team. He's still. definitely family, bro. <laughs> we, we, we're definitely showing, get, we just give him some love still. Yeah. Let's check that out, bro. Joshua Baraka, Lonely. Let's go. Now, what one thing that boy can do is sing, Same, bro. bro. Yeah. <laughs> Joshua Baraka, Lonely. Yeah. On your DSPs, man. Go check that shit out, man. Mm-hmm. For real. Um, who else, who else, who else do we, who else do we fuck with and everything? Let me see. Let me go through the list again. Um, obviously, Hard Dremel. Um, yeah. we are Friday, shout out Friday. Yeah. Juice, Peace and Love album. And yeah, that's it, bro. Yeah. That's it. Go check them out, man. Go check them out. And then obviously, Charlotte Poppy and Olamide, they've announced a new tune dropping next week. Oh, really? Yeah, new tune dropping next week, man. That's uh, going to slap, oh, definitely. That's going to slap. But real. I can't wait. But actually, think, thinking of it now, Charlie Poppy style and then Olami Day coming, that is going to be crazy. That's going to be hard, bro. I can't wait. That is going to be, you know, the unserious kind of style and then the very serious kind of shit. You get me? That's going to be hard. That merger will be mad. That's going to be hard. I can't wait for that still. I can't wait for that still. You get what I'm saying? And also, did you see... Um, Bonner Boy, first of all, shout out Bonner Boy. Always, eh? Yeah, he previewed um, Empty Chairs. Oh, yeah, 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 and that, the Los Angeles show, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, the Los Angeles show and everything, man. Should we check it out real yeah, quick, yeah, bro? Yeah, 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 yeah. Empty Chairs and everything, but Bonner Boy previewed that shit. I can't wait to hear it. I personally think he's probably still working on it, but I in. I think what he does is he's still walk, walking on a tune and all that, you know, but then he comes out one of his shows or the club, he kind of plays it to kind of mm. get the vibe and all that kind yeah. of shit. You get what I'm saying? So I personally think that he's probably still working on the song and all that, bro. Why do, why do you think so? You did, it wasn't... I don't think it's a complete song yet. Mm. Here and there, I think, you know, some, some things might still need to be done on the tune or some instrumental some kind of source still needs to be added well, why, why am I thinking that's you indirectly saying you don't really feel feel, feel what's going on this guy <laughs> <laughs> well if, if you don't if you don't feel it say, say man's not feeling it man. <laughs> This guy, bro, you're some bullshit, bro. <laughs> this guy's are some bullshit, bro. All right, cool. You, all right, let's hear the truth and everything, and then you decide for yourself, bro. This guy's some bullshit. Let's go. Yeah, yeah. First one I'm going to try out, I'm going to show you, is called Empty Chairs. And it's just a combination of situations that have to do with times where, you know, there was empty chairs and times where there wasn't other stuff. So, yeah, let's see what it sounds like. Empty. Woo! Yeah, my man is here sitting. I, I I think something might be added. What's what's added to? What, <laughs> what are you gonna add to it, bro? Some salt is gonna miss it a little bit, bro. You got me. Salt is gonna miss it. Bro, you on, are crazy. You know, bro. you got me. Like 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 the soup needs, needs a bit of salt. Nah, bro. but what's mi- so, but what's missing is fake flipping waxing your ears, bro. <laughs> 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 That's what you need to do. Bro. <laughs> To you watch them is. Nah, fam, listen. This is burn. If there's one person that I trust, it's burner, fam. Yeah, that, you that. get what I'm saying? It's burner. 
can't wait for the shit to drop. Yeah, man. nah. So uh, what I've heard, yes, yeah, yeah. Yeah, obviously, if it's going to tweak it a bit, I don't know. But you see what we just heard now, that's a tune. That's a tune, right? That's yeah, a yeah, tune, yeah. Man, but I mean, my ears are waxed properly. Oh, so what are you trying to say? Then? Yeah, but I don't know, B. <laughs> <laughs> you to do something about that. Yes. <laughs> you do the math, say it, bro. <laughs> you do, do yeah, nobody tune, we tune bang, we bang. Yeah. Come Listen, on. shout out to my man, though. Sold yeah. out two days. Yeah. Peacock Theatre and everything, LA and everything, or oh, rather California or something. Mm. Sell out that shit, 7,000 people sold out, him mm. and Akon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? And obviously, saw my man, my guy, uh, you know, after the whole thing, he went and put a grill in his mouth. 500K, apparently, $500,000 grill in his mouth, bruv. Oh my God, the kind of money we 500, bro. Listen, I know, I know there's, uh, you got money, but. <laughs> <laughs> well, putting 500k well I mean I don't know that's man. what they say I don't know but they said it's 500k that's crazy that's mad five hundred thousand dollars I mean we're not trying to watch man's pocket bro then I, mean, again, then again, I mean I am though yeah, I mean, that, that was, that's what I was going to say but if you're going to spend that much on I, grave, I, 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 I have I, to watch your pocket bro I, have to, I gotta have to watch your pocket a little bit bro thank you yo what's going on here I need fam? to peep that pocket sweet did, did I choose the wrong career path bro no nah, listen uh, no, well you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Listen, but my man came out and and he obviously he dropped a post about that. He said, "Yo, imagine growing up and only politicians and all you men were the ones getting the real money, followed mm -hmm. by the G boys." Yeah, music was not even in the conversation when money was a topic. Now an ugly black musician from Potaco got more money than ninety percent of the people he looked up to as money makers. This is why I never count any young people out because there could be Elon Musk tomorrow typing the same message. Word. That's a fact. That's a that's a whole heap of fact. That's a fact because you just don't know where life is gonna take you, innit? You don't know. You get know what I'm saying? You just don't know where life's gonna take you. Y'all looking at my man and all that, you know? And I love the fact, bro. I love the fact that he was introducing um like Asha K. Oh yeah, yeah, I seen the, yeah, yeah, I seen that, seen that clip, I seen you that video. I mean? yeah. yeah, bro, he even video. told, he even told this man, yo, play his tune and all mm. that, bro. You know what I'm saying? Play his tune, and you see, I should get for there, I should get just the, there. I don't know where the guy on high. You know what I'm saying? Or where the guy? Oh, that was high, or it was, or it was shot, or it was bro, shot. Yeah, One bro, the... yeah, but you can tell, but I got just. But I think he's just keeping mellow. I mean, Bonner is the big dog. Yeah, he's just saying, you know, it's another dog chilling. You know, chilling. but I love to see that shit though. Yeah. I love to see that this is the thing, yeah. This is the thing that we kind of wish for when it comes to our thing. You go, know I mean, one goes, everyone goes. Mm. Bring everyone together. Yeah. You go, know I'm saying, and not the whole thing that whiskey and Bonab whiskey and David are doing, bro. Yeah, I mean, let's listen. let's let's even go into that, bro. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> go on there. Come on, because I'm so sick and tired. Well, I'm sick and tired, but I'm not sick and tired because if they decide to give us bullshit, I'm here for it. I mean, hey. Do you get know what I'm saying? If, if, that's, if that's the entertainment you're bringing forth, then why That's not? it, bro. I want to be entertained. Do you get know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So obviously a video came out of Bonaboy, or I keep on saying Bonaboy, of Whiskey in the club, Piranha in London, right? Chilling, grooving and all that, right? Yeah, and that's a restaurant, I think. That's a restaurant, you know? Yeah. That's sort of like a restaurant. Yeah, but they've got like a, a live whatever. DJ, yeah. yeah. And then the camera kind of panned. <laughs> and now, yes, Davido with his guys, Pastor Toby. With a mob. He got with a whole mob. With a whole mob, bro. Making noise <laughs> over there. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's what they were doing, bro. They were hitting the plate. Yeah, well, we're just you you little chop, chopsticks and, and on the on the table. It's on not... the table and everything, bro. I listen, I understand that move. Yeah. As a petty guy that I am, yeah. I understand that move where we're gonna put you under pressure, yeah, because obviously my man obviously walked out. I mean, eventually, I mean, which really I understand that move as well. If I don't fuck with you, yeah, you go. Know I mean, and you're here on some bullshit. Mm. You go. Know I'm saying, I just don't want to see it. I just don't want to be in this environment. So, so obviously, I'm just gonna leave. But then on the other side, if I hear that this is where you, because I don't care what nobody says, bro. Yeah, Davido and his people knew my guy was there. You reckon? Oh, yes. London but, is small, bro. But it's, it bro, they, London is small. The industry is tiny, fam. But they wanted to just get some Japanese food, you know. At the some... same time. Uh. At the same time. 
Come on, bruv. I mean, I, I mean it's highly unlikely. He got hey. it at the same time, bro. Do you know how many Japanese restaurants are in London? <laughs> You know what true, I'm saying? True, true. But yeah, bro. It's just one of them ones. As a paid person, yeah? If we got beef and everything, and I have a whole mug with me, <laughs> right? And mm. I know that you're here. All right, cool. I'm, I'm just going to come in here and just... Own the place. S- just own the place, bruv. Mm. Just own the place. That's just what that is. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So obviously, WizKids saw David and his people, what they were doing and everything, he decided to j- j- just walk out. Now, my whole thing with that is... You guys did not have a confrontation in there, which I dare the both of them to have a confrontation in there, bro. This is the UK, <laughs> fam. You guys can do that in Lagos. Yeah, I mean, you can do that for here? Yeah, I mean, hey. Little, for little here? <laughs> try that here. Everyone is going in the back of the van, bro. Fam, everyone, first of all, you go in the back of the van. <laughs> Second of all, that whole O2 shenanigans it will be out the window, bro. You're not going to be able to perform at the O2. But you think that will jeopardize the, the concert and stuff? Hello, Mr. Um, <laughs> Davido. Um, we, have, we have done our investigation and we have realized that you are allegedly <laughs> part of a gang in Nigeria... Um, and you walk around with a lot of people, we cannot deem you and your people um, a big risk to safety. So, um, unfortunately, you're not going to be performing <laughs> at all too. Um, hello, Mr. Weeskid. Um, uh, I'm sorry. That would be crazy. I'm sorry, but you will not be performing at all too for the next three years. You get what I'm saying? Bro, straight up. Yeah. But even with the even what they bring, because these guys bring a lot to the table. What about, bro? Gigs. How many years did gigs go without oh, performing? True, true. They, they didn't allow him to perform, bro. This guy that that, that that just came out of jail. What's his name again? Um, fucking hell. I keep on forgetting his name, bro. The guy that just came out. The light skin guy. Oh, the what's his name? Ah, God, it skipped my mind. Yeah, about the, the rapper, the drill guy. Yeah, yeah, the drill guy. Yeah, he said it himself. He can't perform in all. He can't the, perform in the, London. M dot. I can't remember. Nah, come what's uh, his name? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Bro, if one of these guys try out this bullshit here, it's a rap, bro. Mm. It's a rap. I mean, gosh. Yeah, ask, kinda... Bro, ask Ashake what he had to go through because of that whole situation now. Yeah, but his one was kind of, I mean, people lost I, I their mean, life. yeah, I mean, yeah. it wasn't directly his fault. Mm-mm-mm. You know what I'm saying? But imagine that, bro. If this guy's, bro, you can't do all that bullshit here, fam. Yeah, definitely, if they cause a commotion, it, it threatens there. But yeah, I don't I, I don't see it because that's that's good market for, for London, bro. Uh, bro, listen, a Nigerian governor is in jail over here, bro. <laughs> do you know how much investment he has in here? All yeah. that shit don't fly here, bro. Yeah, I mean. All that shit don't fly here, fam. In a former Nigerian governor and his wife, I believe, are in prison here. Bro. Anywho's, they did not confront each other at the thingy. They came online again and started disturbing us. <laughs> online is the battleground. Now, that's, <laughs> that's one thing you need to get into your head. Now, I've I, I decided to just, you know, Get that into my head where I'm like, you know, you see the battleground that online you did, bro. You feel that, yeah? Yeah, yeah, it's online that's battleground. It yeah, that's what I mean. It stays online, that's it's, it. It stays, it stays online. I mean, then again, do they want to start to get physical? I don't think they do. Now, if that was in Nigeria, though, I don't know. It, it might have been a, a, bit, a bit sticky, though. That's what I'm saying. I mean, if it's in Nigeria, yes, yes. If that, if that setting was like in Nigeria, that same location where nice place where, you know, different camps, yeah, it would have gone a bit left. Yeah, 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 yeah. I do agree with you on everything, bruv. You get me? But the thing that kind of made me sick, yeah? And I fuck with Mama Heavy, bro. With who? Yeah, I fuck with Adesha Bear Heavy. Yeah. Shops do. Yeah, come on. Yeah. And and this is not just um, um, just to him, but I see this a lot on social media. I'm trying to find his um, the statement that he made because he made a statement regarding that situation. You go, know I'm saying, oh my god, I I had that saved on my phone, bro. Where it was like, let's not let this go any further or something like that. Let me let me find out. I need to get it so that I can say. Uh, yeah, so this is what he said. 
He said, let's be clear. If anything happens to any one of them, apart oh, yeah. from the culture losing big time, a lot of people will have food taken from their tables too. Ensuring peace, blah, 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 blah. Ensuring peace reigns is not just for the sake of it. It's also to keep tens, if not hundreds, being fed. Let's face it. These guys are responsible for many, many, many people and their families. Peace and love always. Afrobeats to the world. And then he came back again and said, everyone really needs to calm things, things on all sides. IG shorts, tweets, blog dragging, all going to lead to somebody doing some crazy stuff. Some people are ready to crash out for vitality. And as a culture, we should be aware and all ensure this stuff cools down. People want to feed their families. That's all that matters. So what problem have you got with that? So the problem that I have with statements like this, right? And not just with shops that do yeah, I'm going to no, take away yeah, from yeah. him right now. Yes. Yeah. Why do people blame everybody and everything else but the celebrities that are on some bullshit? And in this case, Whiskey and Davido. They are, they are the head of their gangs, right? Mm. Or their groups. Whiskey is the head of Whiskey FC. Yep. Davido is the head of 30BG. Why do we blame social media? We blame trolls. We blame comments. We blame everybody else but, this, but the artists themselves. The people that make the ultimate decisions, bruv. You go, I mean, are these adults or not? Are they leaders or not? We cannot come and say that they are leaders today and tomorrow we want to treat them as pawns. Mm. Are they the decision makers or not? They themselves should know that they have a lot of mouth to feed. Yep. They themselves should know that people are depending on them. Tens mm. and hundreds of people are depending on them. Right? We always want to shift the blame mm. from these people and put it on everybody else. If they decide to be on bullshit, yeah. they should own it. And we should... Give it to them and say, all right, you are on some bullshit. Let's entertain the bullshit then since you don't want to do music. Mm-hmm. You get my point? Yeah, no, I get I, hear I am sick and tired of the whole thing, bro. Tiptoeing through this whole thing. They are the ones that are, if Whiskey Tomorrow decides to end the beef with Davido, it will end. If fact. Davido Tomorrow fact, fact. decides to end the beef with Whiskey and Bonaboy, it will end. If Butter Boy tomorrow decides to end the beef with, with Davido, it will end. They just do not want to end it. Ego, pride, money, I'm the guy, and everything. Nobody is forcing them to go online and call each other woman beater, you know, call each other um, um, crackhead. Nobody is forcing them to do that. So why do we blame the blame? Why do we place the blame on bloggers? Bloggers are just reporting what's out there, bro. If these guys don't do anything, nobody will have anything to report on. True. I mean, true. You're 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 bang on. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Where there is no smoke, there's no fire, bro. Bloggers are not just going to manufacture shit. If they manufacture shit, everyone will call them out on their bullshit. Mm. The gangs are going with what their ogre is saying and doing. That's just what it is. Yeah. It's not rocket science. We should stop blaming everybody else and tell the two adults, hey guys, the both of you are on some bullshit. Stop it. I mean, that would be the, yeah, yeah, it, yeah, yeah. That's the, that, that, that would be the best. But then again, I was going to say, you know, sometimes it, it goes out of control where, you know, social media comments and all that. But then again, it all boils down to, it all falls on in their shoes. Like, you're the one deciding to do whatever you want to do. Kels, if we got beef and you got your boys on your side, your boys are automatically going to ride with you because mm. they are your boys. 
My people are only going to ride with me because they are my people. I'm the head on show. I'm the one that feeds them. I'm the one that clothes them. Right? Mm -hmm. But if the ball falls tomorrow, decide to say, yo, fam, you have my number. Yo, bro, let's link up and talk. What we decide on is what everybody else is going to follow. True. You are not going to say, nah, I'm cool with Toby tomorrow. And then you're going to be like, nah, bro, fuck that. Yeah, nah. We still want to be on smoke. Yeah, nah. You get my point? Yeah. So the ultimate decision lies with this gentleman. And if they decide to be on bullshit, let them be on bullshit. There's no need to feel sorry for them, bro. They, they feed us bullshit. We eat the bullshit. <laughs> they see us swim in the poop, yeah? That's it, brother. Yeah. That's it. Mm -mm. I hear, I hear that. I hear you. I hear you on that still, because it ultimately fall, falls on, on on their table. It falls on their table, bro. No, it falls on their. We table. We should stop blaming everybody else. If they decide to kill themselves, let them kill themselves. Yeah. If falls, that's what falls, they decide to do, it falls on their table. Once again, my policy has always been: if you don't care for your, if you don't love yourself and care for yourself too much, if you don't love yourself. If you don't love your family and care for your family, if you don't love your, your friends and care for your friends to the point that you stay away from bullshit, why should I care? Yeah, I mean. Why is the onus being put on me for you making the decisions that you're making? Yeah. I've never understood that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I've never understood that mindset, bro. Yeah. You know what I mean? And this not towards other, this towards everybody. No, because no, because it's a lot not of just him. Yeah, yeah, everybody, yeah. Everybody is fucking it's, it's saying that. It's not just him, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? The only thing is obviously he's the biggest voice in everything. He's got a platform and all that. But, but I see that all the time online. I don't understand it. I don't get it. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Because when they give us music, we praise yeah, them, innit? Yeah, we enjoy it. Yeah, yeah. When they give us music, we praise them. We be like, yo, this is so, this, yo, and everything. We never say, Oh shit, bro! These bloggers are making this music slap, you know. Mm. The, the the comments is making this music slap, you know. <laughs> bro, yeah, you got me, bro. Yeah, yeah no, you're, you're, you're on point. You're on point, bro. You got me. So so when they do the right thing, we give them praise. When they do the wrong thing, we blame every other person. Yeah, I mean, that video drop does not drop music, and we say, bro. Asasika, whatever his name is, bro, that, yo, Asasika made this music slap, bro. I go, I mean, I'm going to give Asasika the praise for that. Nobody says that. We say, yo, it's Davido. Whether he wrote the song or not. Hmm. Whiskey does not drop song tomorrow. And we are here, yo, bro, I'm going to blame, I'm, yo, bro, sal salute to his manager. What's the guy's name again? Sunday. Sunday. Yo, salute to Sunday, bro. Sunday made this shit slap, bro. Fucking hell. Salute to Whiskey FC, bro. They made this song slap. We say, it's Whiskey. Whether he wrote the song or not. Mm. So when we give them the praise, we should also give them the shits when they are on some bullshit. Yeah, we should definitely, yeah. I mean, it's, it wouldn't take nothing to definitely be like, yo, yo, you're the head of your shit, head of your thing. You know, you, you are ultimately responsible for all this bullshit. That's it. But then, then again, I, I see the I see when people are saying, yeah, the comment section, all of that kind of drives it. But you're old enough to be like, yo, that's the comment section. That's not that shouldn't detect what I do. Come out and, and put out a statement there, bro. You know, it's not, it's not, but then again, we see how it goes. Sometimes you're you're lost in that flow where you know you think this comment section is real life, then you end up in some bullshit. End up in some bullshit. That's why I kind of see where these kind of comments can come from, where you know, we're saying, calm it down, calm it down, so we don't push these guys to do whatever. Yeah, but then if the comment session is driving it, something has to be there to be driven. Something yeah. has to be there already to be driven. Mm. You get my point? Yeah, yeah no, I, the I comment guess session is not going to drive anything. It's nothing is there. Yeah. It's, it's not. It has to be there. Or if it, even if it's not there, the willingness to kind of go that route is there. You where go. you're you're quickly jumping on it. There you go. Without even thinking like a man. Yeah. <laughs> no, but it's true. Though. Think like an adult male, bro. Come on, bro. Yeah, you have to. You got what I'm saying. You but on some to. positive note, though. <laughs> on some positive note, bro, fam, have you heard the new song by Whiskey, bro? Yeah, come on. Come on, bro. Listen, peace of my heart, bro. Mm. 
Whiskey decided to give us buy one get one free, bro. <laughs> Yo, and, and, I'm, and I'm loving the extra. What are you talking about, bro? <laughs> In fact, I, I kind of want the extra. What now, are you bro? talking about, bro? Should we check it out? Yeah, yeah. Let's Come do that. Oh, this are true, bro. Yeah. You mad? Bye. You mad? Wait, whenever, whenever this full ch- full tune drops, bro, I'm oh cr- I'm crash I'm crashing out, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Trust me, bro. I am crashing out. What? Dude. No, this is something else. Bro, this is a true fam. Yeah. I'm not on. gonna lie. When it dropped, yeah, this second part surprised me. Yeah. I, because I wasn't expecting <laughs> yeah, it. Yeah, no, nah, no, nah, nobody was. It got me. I wasn't expecting anything. When I come here, the the the, 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 yeah. the cassette thing and everything. Even though, even though what? I kind of wish it wasn't the cassette thing, bro. I kind of wish, you know, it was uh, sort of like a drum roll. You know what I mean? I kind of mm. wish that the drum roll mm. led into the the second song. You know what I mean? Nah, the cassette thing makes sense, bro. You think so? Yes. Yeah, top part play. A and play the, this one. Mm. That's, that's all it is, bro. And then play the Baba tune, bro. Mm. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. It, make, it makes so much sense. Bro, I'm not going to lie. I've been vibing to this tune, man. Yeah, Jesus. That. Nah, that is crazy. Bro, I can't wait for the album, though. You know what I mean? I cannot wait for this album, bro. I know that my man is coming with fire, bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And listen. And there will be surprises in that. I, I think there will I be major so. surprises where we're thinking, yo, where did you, what? we did not see this coming. Yeah. There will be moments like that on yeah, this album. Bro. Yeah, bro. Listen, you know, we posted um, the clip of the first song, mm. right? Which DJ... DJ Tunes. Oh, Tunes, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he reposted it and everything, bro. He said, yo, everyone stay away. Wow. Stay away. You know Step what I'm saying? Away, bro. Because, because some people were saying, yo, listen, I've got, I've got um, Remus' favorite, um, favorite uh, what's it called? Verse. Verse on the Shout out to Benson and everything, you know, and all that. And obviously, DJ Tunes reposted our shit, said, yo, stay away from that day, bro. Stay away from that Friday, bro. <laughs> you got know I me. Mean? Shout out to Benson. Love you, my guy. Yeah. I choose to believe that he saw this show. I choose to believe that he saw that clip and everything. And my man, he, he gave himself a bit of a brain, a bit it's, of it's advice. Stay clear, yeah? You got know to say, <laughs> my guy decided to stay clear yeah. from the Friday because he himself was saying, yo, listen, you know, pack up, bro. For pack that up. Friday. Yeah, for that Friday, I'm coming. Yeah, but but then again, I wouldn't have, I mean, if he dropped it Friday, but so yeah, yeah, that shit would have competed. But you, you don't see that shit competing, no? With this? That tune? Yeah. I like the tune. <laughs> <laughs> I like the tune. Yeah. Obviously, but, the but, tunes. But I like the tune. Yeah. But come on, bruv. I think them two tunes are come. Yeah, it's, it's you nah, know, bro. Go nah. like that. I mean, it's up in in my ear in in my ear waves or whatever you call it. But that's I know what I'm hearing. But what I hear is yeah, piece of my heart, and I hear, bro. Think, as a Benson guy, I've heard, I've heard. It's a nice tune. Yeah, but I've heard better songs, bro. I've, I I think the I think I think the song this song is is cool. I think the song is just cool, bro. No, nah, it's, it's, it's a song. Is cool. Play, 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 let play, play. For the, remind ourselves. Let's remind ourselves of what we're talking about. Yeah, here, bro. yeah. All right, cool. Let's check it out, bro. Let's let's do that. Oh, bro, listen, bro. Come on, bro. You, you <laughs> said you said this is not competing. Nah, but this shit is competing, bro. No, listen. This a this a nice tune. Yeah. This a nice tune. Yeah. But personally, yeah. <laughs> as someone who fucks with Benson heavy. Okay. Yeah. I'm not putting this on the top of the discography. No. Hell yeah, no. Yeah, I mean, Hell okay. no. No uh, chance, I mean, bro. Yeah, I mean, no, I, I, I don't know if, yeah, I wouldn't say, yeah, top up, because... Personally, mm. personally, mm-hmm. I cannot put this tune over outside, bruv. Really? Outside with Timaya. Mm. Psh. Mm. Psh. Psh. What? Nah, but this, I like this bro, tune, you know? Bro, outside, it's a lot... Bro, anytime I hear that song, yeah, that song still feels brand new to me, bruv. Yeah. And I mean, that's, that, the re- that, that's a... Bro, yeah. and that's the reason, yeah? That is the reason why. Because when this song dropped, best believe it, everybody knows my stance with Benson. Bad people slid them out of the end, bruv. Killing mm. me. 
So saying what? Killing me. It saying, wasn't up to par. No, no like, saying that Rema killed him on the tune. Oh, right, right, right. Because right. I said that I believe that Benson, yeah, you can't kill him on a tune. Oh, yeah, I remember it's you. It's either I draw, remember, yes, remember either draw that. or he beats you. Mm. So everyone gave me the nerve. In the, listen, I understand, right? Styles make fights, right? Mm-hmm. M- Benson does the whole mellow voice, mellow tune type thing, right? Unless if you're really into that, unless if you really understand the sort of pockets that he's getting into, what he's saying, it's very easy to say that Rema killed him on the tune because Rema's voice is clear, is loud, and all this kind of stuff, right? Mm-mm. So it's, it's very easy to say that. Yeah. I personally don't think that Rema killed him. Mm. I think the bottom have two distinct styles. Yeah. Yeah. You got know what I'm saying? But I don't think, now, if you want to talk about what style do you think is better or whatever, cool, how about that? You mm. got know what I mean? You can say it's Rema or whatever the case is. But I don't think Rema really, really, really killed him. Or do you think he did? No, I think, I mean, I wouldn't say... It's okay if you say he did. Yeah, you know, I, I, yeah of course it is. But I think, now, you ask me which one do I like... My favorite one is Rema's bit, obviously. Mm, 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 mm. But I think it's a case where, like, there are two Ferraris there, but one is just a dull color, one is a bright know, color, bright color kind of thing. Mm. You know I mean? you get me? <laughs> one enter your eye, or one is a bit, you know, you have to think about it, yeah, yes. and be like, okay, because you know his past things, you have to now try compensate it with whatever, mm. whatever. You get me? But Rema is just out the gate, they're giving you pockets. Boom, 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 boom. You get me? You're killing it. Yeah. That's the word. I, I wouldn't say let's really killed him, killed him, but yeah, he kind of he kind of topped him though. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I was in the same taxi with my guy, bro. My guy decided to enter a car, bro. And no, I said, no, bro, no, fine, no. you always sit over there, bro. I'm, I'm on here, bro. I'm going. Nah, he kind of didn't kill him, but yeah, it kind of came out top. You can see where, yeah. you can see where people are saying. You get me? Nah, I can see why people are saying. Mm. I, and I can, I, I kind of think the the point you raised where. Because of because of the kind of the kind of pocket where Benson likes to be at, where you know mellow kind of melodies, where you know, so obviously a flashy flow would always will always stop. Yeah, will always catch your ear. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It will always catch your ear. Yeah, yeah, I hear that. I hear that. I hear that. You know, but one thing I'm tired about. I am so sick and tired of Benson, bro. Benson. You have this reputation of being the future guy. You have to feature somebody or whatever. Most of your hit records are that, right? Mm-hmm. Sometimes, bro, I am so sick and tired. Bro, do a full song yourself. I'm not saying that he doesn't have one. Yeah, he doesn't you know what I'm saying? Loads, yeah. but, but, you know, to me, the way he went about promoting this, and I understand promotion and everything. Everyone got to do what they got to do to bring the eyeballs and yeah, yeah. ears on their song and all that shit. I get it, right? But the way he went about it, like, yo, I'm about to drop some nuclear shit on Hiroshima type thing. You know, everybody stay away. Nah, bro. Nah, bro. And for the fact that he said all that, and then stayed clear of from Friday, yeah. the day that whiskey dropped and everything. I kind of think that's a bit soft, don't you think so, bro? No, nah, nah, I, I wouldn't. If call you're it gonna a come out and say that, bro, you gotta stand on it, bro. Nah, it wasn't really a couple. Like you, like you, like you pointed out, marketing and all that stuff. You had to because there was there's so much noise going on already. So you cannot expect a man like Benson to be dropping something he feels is top notch. To not want to make his own noise as well. Like, you know, let's that, not kid ourselves. Whiskey was everywhere. Like, obviously, we've not heard the tune then, but it was all, you know, I'm dropping. Everybody I'm knew dropping. he was coming. Yeah, exactly. So you can't you can have like a big dog like Benson, you know, he's got something as well, not make some kind of wave. Yeah, but my point is when you, and this is a classic example where sometimes you don't have to press send, <laughs> sometimes you don't have to press post. Yeah. If you put that out, mm. and just like you said, you believe you're a big dog. Yeah. And just yeah. like Kojo said, you believe in your source. Mm-hmm. Yeah? You have to stand on it. You got to stand on it. When he did that, and then I had to now step back and I'll drop on Tuesday, instead of the Friday, in my opinion, that kind of came about a bit soft. Do I still fuck with Benson? Yes, I still do. Do I fuck with the tune? Yes, I still do. Yeah, of course. You Even do. though I, I still feel that if he dropped it on the Friday with what whiskey dropped, it would have been tough, bro. 
Nah, it will be tough, but he will still get his own play. But you listen. The thing is, you listen to Pisama and then you go to his one. Simple. There's no way you just listen to that one and then for nah. It won't. It won't get for, for, for forgotten. Is that if that's what you think? Yeah, I think. I think right. What usually happen is because somebody left a comment and everything, which I read, and that kind of made sense, right? Because it's such a big drop, whiskey, right? Mm. Maybe for the weekend, that week or whatever, you know, everybody oh whiskey and everything. But then over time, it kind of settles yeah, down, yeah. and then the other songs and all that kind of shit. Yeah, I do understand that, but still, that would have been a problem, bro. Yeah, I mean, then again, if, if... Because because you best believe it. A couple people dropped that Friday. I'm not going to mention names. Yeah, yeah a couple people dropped that Friday. A couple yeah. people dropped that Friday that you probably did not know that they dropped. Yeah, true. <laughs> but, but then, then again, them, them man are not Benson, though. Mm. Them man are not Rema. Mm. Come on, if you're featuring Rema on a tune, but best believe I'm checking for it. Mm-mm. I don't care if, if Bonaboy drops on that day, if Whiskey drops on that day, if David Doe drops, nah, I'm checking on I'm checking it. How about Jay-Z? <laughs> <laughs> Are you, you're, you're having a laugh. <laughs> I need a reaction on them. I got to say. <laughs> you're having a laugh, bro. But Is I don't, it? Yeah, come on. Bro. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. So are you going to check Rema before Jay-Z, bro? You're, you're not even checking 1, Jay-Z. 1,000%. You're not even checking Jay-Z bro, at all. I'm, ch- I'm flipping, checking... Checking portable before Jay Z, bruv. Yeah, I swear it's not a, a rest disrespect where you know Jay Z is not a but I'm saying my interest. I'm checking them man before Jay Z. Yeah, yeah. Do you see w- what your brother is about to do to portable? Well, but yeah, portable yeah, misbehave. Bro. But my man is bullying people. Like, but you know where I stand with bullying people, bruv. Mm. You can't be beating people out of why. Because you people love you. No, 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 no. We can't stand for that, bro. Mm. Can't be going around. If everyone was going around beating people, then everyone would be. Uh, what in, the fuck? Yeah. Yeah. Come on. You're, you're, you're not even on the, at this. You're not even a David Doe yet. But if you get to that level, oh what my god, do? with the way my god, I better go run, come up for the house. <laughs> like, What's going on? What are you doing? <laughs> nah. So when even when I saw the video, what been, I'm like, what's he doing? Like, what's the like? Even when he had the thing with the part one, apparently some pastor. Yeah, came. yeah, the yeah, pastor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, like he slapped him and everything, bro. Even mm-hmm. that one said, "Pay me, sir." So even though true, I'm not a big fan of pastors like that, but yeah, yeah, yeah even that one said, "Pay me." I said, "Bro, what are you doing, pastor?" Because obviously it was clear that's that's a harmless person. And then, if you don't want to listen to him, tell him cool. tell him to move. Tell him to move. Tell him to go or tell him to go away from here. But you don't need to start putting hands on him. Why? If they leave you and I'm now, would you, would you, if, if it's a fight, would you, do you think you would stand him? No, you, you would not stand him there. So, then again, but do I want his career to go to Capuch or whatever? No, but. But, but come on, bro. Yeah, you come on, you can't be, he needs to be shaking a bit, he can't be moving like that. Yeah, he can't be doing that, bro. No, he can't, can't be moving be. like that, no. No, the reason why I brought him up, obviously, not, not yeah, 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 no. <laughs> you see him, my guy. <laughs> not be your guy. <laughs> he, him and Abby. Hey, yeah. Yeah, that's right. Don't you hear the new song of 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 Abby? No. Oh. It drops up. Oh, it's something about the whole, you know, he went prison and all that stuff. Yeah, it? like about some it. sort of <laughs> Oh my god. Bro. What? <laughs> is it that funny? Bro. I can't believe I'm talking about Abby, bro. My guy, my guy dropped dropped a song, bro. I think there was something like maybe oil or something like that. Okay, he's referencing the whole thing. Bro, hey, bro fine. go listen to that shit. That shit was so hilarious, bro. Listen. My guy, please stop being funny, bro. Stop <laughs> being funny, fam. I'm not gonna lie. People like myself and all that, I do enjoy watching my man. Sometimes, yeah, yeah, bro. He is hilarious as hell. He nah, it say, is. Just keep doing what you do. He doing, is, but it it's is. not. It's not harmful, man. Just keep doing. Nah, it is. But he's a he's yeah. a comedian, but in my eye. Yeah, just just stop. Don't threaten people, bro. You know what yeah. I'm saying? That's it. You know what I'm but yeah, man. Yeah, listen. I might go check it out. You know, baby oil. All right. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, you got that, bro. I, I would, I would give you a little li- listen. Why you not? got me, bro. That shit is hilarious, bro. That shit is hilarious. <laughs> but, but, <laughs> but, but talking about baby oil, fam. Mm. Talking about baby oil. Have you seen the girl who calls herself mattress actress or mattress actor, wherever the case is? What girl? The girl who slept with a hundred men. Oh, I seen that. I seen. Yeah, yeah, I seen that. Yeah, yeah. Some only fans thing, isn't it? Fucking yeah, that's crazy. Crazy. She's she's about to go what one million in a day. So, no, you know. no, a thousand. <laughs> bro, a <laughs> bro, a thousand a day, bro. A hundred was not enough, apparently. Fam, she said they started by nine o'clock in the morning. Let me play. 
It started by 9 till, till 6 p.m. Fucking hell. Fucking hell, bro. That shit crazy. The, the thing is... The, bro, just the, thinking about that is crazy. Nah, it's mad. Yeah, but um, this is it right here. Morning. So today is the day where I get run through by 100 guys. How many condoms I have? For fuck's sake. I think this is all I'm going to do with my hair and makeup today. Just a bit of bronzer and a bit of blush. I'm running a little bit late, I think. But I'll be totally fine because the boys can't start without me. Oh, not looking too bad. So, so, so she's getting ready. Now she's I'm almost there to now. We'll be off to a little bit of a late start, but that's fine. We've got time to make it back on. Now she's gotten to the place. How are you doing? How is it <laughs> How's it going so far? She's had a How shower. Many are we on? I think I'm eight. Eight guys. I'm eight, not You enjoying enough. yourself? Yeah, I am actually. Bro, look, look at all the man there, bro. <laughs> all the man there. <laughs> First anymore. group scene done. That was a lot, a lot of fun. Um, and now I'm on to number 16. Currently 7 p.m. About, I'd say, I think about 70 people through. This is what the room is looking like. Not in the best state. Um, we've kind of got things everywhere. <sighs> Someone bought me a rose. Oh my god, I forgot to vlog this. Someone bought me a fucking rose. He was the sweetest boy ever. Apologies that this vlog ends very abruptly here, but after being run through by 101 guys for 14 hours straight, I just conked out after I finished. 101 in 14 hours, bro. Crazy, bro. To, to, to even to, to, <laughs> for, for to even feel like she needs to share this, but I was like, I don't want to. She's making this. money from me, bro. Yeah. It's only fans, isn't it? Yeah. It's only fans. She's definitely going to be making money off this, bro. Now, now she has opted to a thousand, and and she has she said, listen, if you want to be part of it, you should send your application in, bro. Ah, you know we'll go. She needs to vet vet you or something. No, you apply and everything, and then <laughs> you know, bro. <laughs> it, you either get a yes or a no. Bro, yeah. Last week I did hundred and one guys. Now this was just the warm up because in February I'm gonna be the first person ever to reach. Four digits of guys all in one day. Yes, 1,000 guys. Now, this is going to be a ticketed event, so make sure you follow for more details. I want you to be a part of this. But what I don't get, though, is this 1,000 men. Like, so what, every man will come? Because I'm thinking if 1,000 men, <laughs> like, men like me pull up there, but she's going to die. Oh, listen, bro. Man, listen. 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 <laughs> Like, I don't understand, bro. Wait, if, wait, if, if a hundred man like me pull up there, by best belief, she's not waking up yeah, next day. So, so I'm saying, so every man come there, what they've got, there's a timer or something. There, nah, must, nah, there must be, bro. I don't think there's a timer. It's how long you can go, bro. But that is jokes. Like hundred, hundred. Talk your shit, bro. No, nah, it's true, bro. Hey, hey, no, nah, nah, <laughs> it's true, though, but you, you deep, deep as well. Like, come there and they, I think there must be timing this guy. Nah, I don't feel that stuff. Where there's like, okay, five minutes, boom, do what you can do in five minutes. That's what it's got to be. Because there's no way you can say 100 men pull up, they're all, you know, hungry. Like, they seem they were, they look hungry, all of them. Not hungry for food, but you know what I'm saying. I mean, I saw somebody put on Jordans and shit. Yeah, I mean, you, you can put on Jordans, but if you've not got Nanani in a long time, then yeah, you best believe you're going to queue there, B. <laughs> get some punani, bro. <laughs> Well, you're gonna be there. I'm not gonna be there. I don't know. Man. You got, you got, you're thinking of that. <laughs> <laughs> listen, bro. Listen, fam. Hold on. If if any man that you know, yeah, goes and apply and goes and everything, yeah, I, I, are, are you gonna judge him? Not judging, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make jest about. It. I'm gonna you, laugh. You're like, gonna like, you're, you're a loser. Bro. You're crazy. Bro. <laughs> What's this about, bro? That but, is but, crazy. But then again, bro. I might want to know actually if they actually let you do your thing. Yeah, bro. But yeah, there must bro. be timing these people, bro. I've well, checked hundred men. My own thing is, yeah. What kind of what kind of thing will actually make somebody say, "Yo, I want to do this." Crazy. You know what I'm saying? And she's trending everywhere, bro. Yeah. 
Yeah, I seen, I seen it. That's where I seen, I seen it on, you know, I think one of the shade bros over here. Bro. That's crazy shit, bruv. And it's a thing where, you know, you're... Yeah, bro. Well, it's, I mean. Bro, it's, it's a thing. Do you think that she's going to win the Guinness Book of Record if if she fucks a thousand men a day? No, if she does a thousand, then I mean, nobody has done that. No. no. Yeah, if she does a thousand, then she deserves the Guinness Book of Things. Yeah. <laughs> she, can you do a thousand, bruv? <laughs> 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 I don't I don't know any I don't know anybody that can I, bro. I thousand, bro. <laughs> but in that situation yeah would you want to be the first to go or would you want to be in the, somewhere in the middle or do you want to be the last bah, first man bro. what do you mean <laughs> <laughs> but if, if you are the mid from that, listen from like the third fourth bro the whole place is the bro well, like what the <laughs> fuck bro you can't say the whole place is semi border bro <laughs> <laughs> Bro, bro, fam, nah, listen. Nah, nah, nah. Nah, that oh, shit is our job, bro. Yeah, it's our job. That shit is our <laughs> job, bro. You get me? It's our job. I'm telling you, brother. And yeah. I saw one of our video where she said that one of the guys kissed her, bro. I'm thinking, what the oh, fuck? Yeah? yeah. She said one of the guys kissed her and everything, bro. I'm saying, yo, what the hell, yeah. bro? And I, I bet you it's like young, 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 young. Yes, yeah, probably. It's probably one of them. Teens, like 18, 19 years old. Yeah, and all of them had to sign contracts and everything, bro. No. Oh. They signed contracts and all that shit. Maybe to say, yeah, I'm down for this. Or maybe they're, they're videoing them as well. Yeah, it's going to be on her OnlyFans, bro. Okay. She has a own, she's an OnlyFans girl. Oh, yeah, so she's going to use the video. Okay, I didn't, I don't think, I knew she was OnlyFans, but I didn't think of the whole bro, the video. Way, bro, the, the video? way she's trending right now, yeah, what she's going to do is she's going to clip the videos and yeah, all yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. You go and, and, and just make bare yeah. money from that True. shit, bro. Yeah, I see it now. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I've, gonna, I've never paid for OnlyFans and everything, but I might want to just, <laughs> just double check. Just to see if... if just how, to double check. <laughs> it just really went down. Or, you got to say. Are, are these all actors, bro? Just like you said, bro. Are they using timers and that? Yeah, but I, I, I reckon they are, bro. Because there's no way, but you think about it. Listen, bro. If you're on OnlyFans and everything, you know, I've never paid for OnlyFans and all that. But if you go OnlyFans account, bro, just screenshot that shit and send it to me, bro. I just want to see, fam. <laughs> on God, bro. But she's going to make her bread, though. Oh, hell yeah. Yeah. If, like, now I'm thinking about the whole video thing. Yeah, she'll make her bread. Because people will want to be like, wow. People want to see. But, fam, the way she's been trending the whole fucking week is mad. It's mad, mm -hmm. bro. If Crazy. you're the parent or, 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 or the sibling, Nah, it's mad, man. Fuck it, now. She's crazy, bro. I don't know. Is, I, I don't know how I'm gonna feel though. Bruv, me, me too, man. But then again, that that's your sibling, isn't it? Wait, what can you? Fam, we we live in a wild time, bro. It's crazy. It's crazy that shit like this is online, bro. We live in a wild time. So she's she, she trying to, you know, get get the gear them to start. Fam, I, I mean, I mean, she said that she, you know, she understood that she got a lot of backlash and all that shit on one of her posts and all that, that she's not telling, you know, girls to do it or whatever. But then she's kind of disappointed that, that, you know, you know what they always say with the boss was that women are always being shamed to do what they want to do and all this kind of shit. You know what I'm saying? That's the route that she was trying to go down. Mm -hmm. I'm like, come, here, come on, bro. Yeah. You well, know what I'm saying? Come on. She, you know? she, she's got, I mean, then again, she's got a right to do what she wants, though. I mean. Yeah, but we live in a wild society, bruv. It's crazy. It is crazy. Oh, my God. Sometimes, sometimes I look around, I'm, I'm like thinking, fam, I, I must be living in some alternate universe, bruv. Yeah. It, it's crazy. It's a metric, man. You got me, but, but, but someone like this, she's probably just giving up on life, bro. She's not looking to get no nine to fives, nothing, bruv. Her yeah. life. She no, has, but, but. She has dedicated her life. Yeah, yeah. To, to, the, to the thing. Fans, yeah, yeah. Come on. Only fan is her nine to five. That's it, bro. Like the people that make I see I I think I saw one show one time where you know people make a lot of peas on only fans, you know. On God. But crazy money. On God. Like uh, the next thing they're buying houses, doing on just on God. We so mean, bro, we, we women are making a lot of money that shit. So I mean, you can't you cannot have that if if that's the kind of life you want to be living. Then you cannot have that and be I'm try and be going back to a, a nah, regular nah, nah. You have five. to be dedicated, bro. Yeah, you can't be going back to a regular. You have to, to be five. dedicated, bro. You go. Know just little sip of that lifestyle. You're not going back to nine to five yeah, when you see, when you see how easy. Well, I say easy, but easy for them. I mean, we see get banging a hundred and you did just they do with toy. It's easy work, no? <laughs> <laughs> it's easy work, hey, bro. Jesus. 
That shit is crazy, nah, bro. Uh, bro, I'm not think about that shit, but that shit is nah, crazy. No, nah, no, it's crazy. That's why there's no way no one's telling me there's no timer, big ass timer there when you reach five minutes. Doom, 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 Listen, doom, doom. I need to find out. I need to watch, watch the, that video, bro. If you're out there, if you're out there, you got OnlyFans, which I know some of you do, <laughs> you know, or if you find a video, please send that to me, bro. I, I need to confirm on that one still yeah. because 100 is mad. It is mad. Some people don't even fuck 100 their whole lifetime. Their whole lifetime, yeah. It's crazy. Nah. <laughs> man, she, you know, it's, 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 she deserves a Guinness book, man. Maybe she do one K, but yeah. Yeah, I mean. Yeah, I mean, because. It, 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 it's not easy, it, it, though. It's not easy. It's not easy. Nah, it's not. And, and this to tell you, right, because I always have this culture about God and everything, right? And this to tell you, you see, women, that right there is exactly the reason why I think women don't have to try to get dick. They don't have to try, bro. A girl can step out that door every night and come back with a new dick every night, bro. Yeah. That's a fact. If bro. she's on it. Yeah, if yeah. she's on it, bro. Yeah. Us guys, we don't care. We just won't be. And that's the reason why I don't even understand why girls that have boyfriends who, who actually lie and say, oh, no, I ain't got a man and everything, bro. Because, men, we don't care. Mm. Man, we don't care, bro. If, if a girl says, yo, I got a man, but I, I just want to beat you. All right. Be, you know I mean? Bare man will beat. Yeah. It's, it's, it's guys that kind of have to, yeah. you know, like, nah, Hard, nah, man. I'm single. No, no shit. Unless, unless if you go, you know what I mean? Type of money that's what you go have, yeah. bro. If, if you go, if you go Will Smith pass, bro. You know what I'm saying? If you got that kind of arrangement. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Uh, shit, bro. Nah. Fuck it, yeah. bro. Should we call it a day, yeah? Yeah, we might as well, bro. Yeah, I think it's been it's, it's been a good one. We've hit the two hour mark and all that. Mm. Yeah, no, yeah, so it's been a good conversation and everything, bro. Yeah, yeah me, yeah, man. I can't believe that you're still underrating um, dancing, bro. No, I'm I not. I can't, no, I can't, I can't. No, I'm not. You got no. me. I can't believe. Even Timaya, did you see the interview that he did? The one he said, yeah, he done on the spot. Yeah, that was, yeah, yeah. I said what that. What he said like, about Benson? When, when he said that, I'm, I'm like, yo, let's, where's my, my man, my man? I hope, hope you've seen this. <laughs> I <laughs> see, oh, bro, of course, bro. You ain't not saw that shit, bro. You ain't not saw that shit, bro. You got know what I'm saying? But listen, salute, 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 salute. Salute to every single one of you out yep, there, man. Yep, yep. Thank you for your time. You could be anywhere in the world and doing whatever, but you decided to share your time with us and everything. Mm-hmm. You already know it's Fresh Out the Ball podcast. Is your boy Toby and your boy Kels. Salute to Kojo. Kojo will be back next week, I believe. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Listen, if you've not subscribed to Fresh Off the Book podcast on YouTube or on your DSPs, I don't know what you're waiting for, man. Subscribe to the channel, watch the videos, leave a like, leave a comment, share it, tell a friend to tell a friend. Or tell an enemy to tell a friend, people. Because they got friends too. Yes, yes. And also, if you're on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Amazon Podcasts, all the DSPs out there, and you are obviously driving, you know, at the gym, chilling, all that good stuff. And you want to listen to the audio version? Please do that as well, man. You know what I'm saying? Yep. And also share this with your family, friends, loved ones, and also your ops as well, bruv. Of course. You know what I'm saying? Of your, course. Your ops deserve a good content. But they also. deserve something to, you know, yeah, keep, keep, keep their day smiley. That's it, bro. Yeah, Come yeah. on. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Until next time, man. Should we check out, yeah? Yep, yep, yep. All right, then. <laughs>